Hello, fluffy people of the world. My name is Liquid Blitz, and welcome back to. Hang on just one second. Dark Souls 2. Uh, scholar of the First Sin version, or whatever. Okay, so. It's been a few days since I recorded the first episode. Um, I've had a chance to read all the feedback and forget most of it. <laughs> um, in just warming up, I've killed the three little pigs again. Their bodies were here, but then I rested at the fire, uh, so their bodies have disappeared. I should point out, I've made a few volume adjustments. Um, it's most, you know, I'm going to turn the music down just for now. I might turn that back up because I do like the music, but in some areas it's loud. Right. So, the, my recorded volume in the first episode was far too loud, I had to turn it down in the edit. Um, I, so, I've got my own volume at a, at a level... Okay, long story short, I've turned everything down. I think I've kept voices the same, because in the mix, um, voices were too quiet. So I've kept those the same, lowered sound effects uh, by two notches, I think, and I was... I'll keep music at what it was, but it is a little loud sometimes. Um, but yeah, I noticed that it was so loud in the area with like the river and grass and shit. Um, I had to turn the sound down whilst keeping volumes higher. Um, what matters is the mix of the volumes. I can turn the entire game volume up and down in the edit, but I can't like change voice volumes compared to like sound effects. You know what I mean? So I need the mix correct. Uh, and the voices were a bit too quiet. Oh. Who are you again? Fluffy. <laughs> no, you do have a rough type. Oh, she's still on about my scent. Uh, what she got to sell? You know, I was looking at some of these and I thought I might buy that ring that gives me HP from each defeated foe only because I've got two flasks. Nothing now, suited you, I presume. That will improve, but two oh. flasks is a... Shut up. Two flasks is a little, like, nothing. <laughs> um, I've also made the decision, basically, uh, my warm-up, um, I was just, I killed a few mobs by the, um, by the, the, the forest fire again, just to, just to warm up and, mo and, like, f uh, sort my volumes out. Um, but I decided, I, I, parrying feels weird in this game, like, the parry window is odd. And I can't seem to figure out how the fuck to time it, so I think, for now, I'm gonna switch my playstyle to basically, like, two-handing. I might keep the shield there as a backup, just to actually block damage sometimes, but I'm gonna basically switch to mostly rolling away from attacks and keeping a distance, rather than trying to parry. Basically, I'm gonna just try and not parry. Um, I might do more practice in the future, but I was just practicing on a basic shit muncher mob, and I could not for the life of me figure out if you're supposed to tap it the second you see them attack, or you've actually got to physically time it for when their swing comes in. I, there seemed to be no consistency with my successful parries, so I'm just not going to bother. Um, I'd love access to this blacksmith. I'm bring me that key. But I. I can't figure out a way in, and I don't know where his key is. I've had a quick look around here, there's nothing here. Um, I've had a few very useful tips, thanks for all the feedback and stuff. You know, let's just get back to wh what we were doing. Um, no, first of all, sorry. I'm all over the place, I should have been prepared. Let's use my souls items and see if I can level up or buy something. So yeah, thanks for all the feedback from the first episode. I've had a lot of positive, like, you know, I'm glad you're playing this game sort of a thing. So maybe Dark Souls 2 isn't as hated as I thought it was. Uh, just all the all the time I played da Dark Souls 1, a lot of people were saying, skip 2. Um, a lot of people in response to that were saying, no, don't skip 2. So I'm clearly divisive, but I think it's actually more positive feedback for this game than negative. I think some people just really don't like the game, but most people are okay with it, I think. Bearer of the curse seeks seek the lest this um, one of the tips, and I figured this out for myself, is um that the, the shop starts to sell you more stuff if you like interact with them and buy stuff. 
So, yeah, I'll, I'll want to buy more stuff from that vendor. Um, I do. I do have enough points to level up. Uh, and I was thinking, in moving away from parrying, I kind of want more adaptation just for the rolling weirdness and the agility. I think it's agility that's the key thing. Um, so that's more important now I'm not going to be relying on parrying at all. So I might sink some serious pointage into adaptation. Uh, adaptability. Adaptation. Adaptability, yeah. So I will, but I don't have enough souls really. Let's have a quick look at the shop guy. In part of figuring out my volumes, I spoke to all the different people just to get my voice volume high enough. And this guy said something like, I'm surprised at my success, blah, 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 blah. I've got more stuff to sell. So. I'm glad to see you safe. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not sure if that great shield was there last time, but I've got a bunch of more arms and shit that popped up. Um, infantry. Royal stuff was not there before. I know that for a fact. You had your falconer stuff. That's what I'm wearing a couple of pieces of. And then you had your hard leather, but I think these two sets are brand new. Elite knight and royal soldier. Uh, let's compare chest pieces like weight and physical protection. That should give me some idea. Um, so what I'm wearing is 7.7 .7 weight with 12 poise. That's heavier with more poise. And that's even heavier with even more poise, I think. 15, si oh no, 16, 12, oh no, hang on. Oh, that's sort of medium weight, more poise. That's actually heavier, but less poise. Like, but I guess it's more physical protection. Hmm. I'm good for now, actually, I think. I am going to put a point into uh, leveling up. I hope I find that blacksmith's key. If, if it turns out it's in this immediate area, I'll be upset. That I might progress in the game when I could have been, like, leveling up my weapons and shit. Um, I, was, I was thinking, in, like, in terms of stats, I'm actually happy with my current stamina and health, you know? So I think I might... And even my damage is fine with the decent sword. So I think I am actually going to go adaptability first. Um, oh, agility is going up. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Why not? Somebody said, like, leveling it up to, like, something like 20 or 30 is, you know, pretty good. But there's no point going above that. I, I would have figured that anyway. Um... So yeah, I might try and uh, have a balanced approach. The curse. No, 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 sure. Seek souls, larger, more power. Seek the let. <laughs> Let's get back to the forest. Okay. Yeah, in the first game, I sort of prioritized stamina, but I, I kind of took multiple stats I was interested in up at the same time. I'm going to do the same, but just include adaptability in that. Like, that is probably my number one priority, then maybe stamina or endurance or whatever. Strength and dex. One of the feedbacks was the dual wield thing. I, I heard your feedback. You, you can dual wield if you've got two of the same weapon type. And you've got like 1.5 times the dex or strength requirement of the weapon or something. Um, it's a bit too early for that, but I've taken that into account. Right, yeah. Oh, that's another thing. Um, that's another thing. Uh, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, my durability. I've got like very few weapons right now and the, my only good weapon has fuck all durability. In fact, I've lost one of my two durability. I think. Um, yeah. Just one mob, I've, I've lost the durability already, so... I need more swords. Or better swords. Uh... 
I'm gonna have to... I've got no choice but to kill all these motherfuckers. Let's dual wield. Fucking hell. Bad. Right, okay. It's gone to shit already. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, I think I've got no choice but to kill all these motherfuckers. Fuck! Oh my god. I'm gonna- I'm gonna actually die! Right, okay, I need to- right, Jesus Christ. Re- re- reset. Rest, reset, okay. <laughs> I'd like to point out, I've had like, fucking three hours sleep last night. I am not ready for this. I'm not exaggerating, I'm- I'm really tired. <laughs> but, uh, I'm busy for the next couple of days after this, so... It, like, now's my last chance to record for a few days. So I've got no choice. Um, I'm going to bring the sh the sh even though not parrying, shield's coming out because, Jesus Christ, I was taking some serious damage just then. Um, the last time I tried to run past some motherfuckers to get up to where I want to get up to, where my souls and shit are, um, they all just crowded around me and I was fucked. I think I've got no choice but to kill them all, you know? Oh. In this game, you, they they hit you even when you hit them, like almost regardless of the poise. Mm. Today is all about refining my techniques. Ow, oh, fucker! Right, okay. The, the the gameplay in this game is so vastly different to the first one, just in terms of like the damage you take. And what attacks you can withstand, what you can't withstand. You're missing, sir. The fact that I can't block 100% damage is kind of really a big pain in the ass, because it means I can't block any hits. And with my two at Dude! I was running to the side there, and he, and he still hit me. <laughs> oh, fucking hell, you can't, you, Jesus Christ, right, okay. I might have to start sinking into my life gems here. Let's just kill this motherfucker. There, okay, okay. It's all good. Fuck! No! 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 Just! Just! No! Just! 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 Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! This is stressful, man. I think I need to break, like, get a like, get notepad open or something. Get a pen and and paper for me to write down some notes. Note number one, when there's a long-range guy shooting arrows at you, you, you really can't fight other mobs at the same time. Because even if you have you raise your shield, you're taking damage from it, the long-range shots. And when I'm attacking motherfuckers, I'm getting hit with a full damage arrow, so that's... Note number one, when there's a ranged guy, I think I might want to lead mobs, at, like, out of line of sight of the ranged guy, or push the ranged guy and kill him first, because that's a fly in the ointment that makes everything ten times harder. Note number one, tick. <laughs> Note number two, I need to kill mobs in an area to to progress safely, otherwise I'd skip spit roasted on a ladder, like last episode. So that's note number two, check. <laughs> note number three, Regular foot soldiers, they're overhead, um, they do like an overhead attack, these basic enemies, and they also do like a lunging attack, and both of those are surprisingly long range. So, you, did you see me backing up, um, back there? I was trying to, to, to backstep, but it's still, um, I was still in range of them, even though I thought I'd backed up to a safe level. Um, well, let's... 
Yeah, let's kill all these. I'm gonna, I'm gonna one hand rather than two hand because I need. I feel like I need my shield just for protection. Even though you take damage, um, slightly. Like yeah, it's still a a lot less damage. In fact, just so I know, is it ninety five percent? Or is it ninety? It's ninety percent plus zero point two. Uh, is that from my agility? The the plus number? I don't know what stat is giving me the blue bonus, but hey. So, 90% reduced damage is better than, than, than going two-handed, doing more damage, but I'm getting hit with 100% damage. You know, you've got to min-max this shit. Uh... I might do some slow- right, that's note number four. Note number 17 is I might slow walk my way around because I think it does a better job at, like, not being seen, you know? So now I think I'm fine, I'm, I'm safe to climb up. Because I'm sort of being- no, no, you see, is Oh, I thought it was a guy. It's not just a piece of cloth. Okay. Um, question for you guys. You see that health bar thing, that extra segment at the end? That, that isn't, uh, I'm not getting that health back when I heal or rest. Does that health come when you uh, are human and not hollowed like I am right now? I'll keep going, but next time we're at a fire or a safe place, oh shit. Next time we're safe, I might try burning one of those effigies just one time, just to see what it does, you know? Ooh, that lunge attack is great. Uh, look at my fucking durability! Bruh, this is the weakest, flimsiest piece of foam sword <laughs> I've ever seen! Oh, fucking hell! Uh, then that's my good weapon as well. Uh... I think resting at the fire fills your durability back up, but once it breaks, it's permanent, permanent broken, isn't it? So I've got to be careful here. I'll, I'll switch to some shitty sword. But yeah, I'm curious to see if going human gives me a, that little extra bit of health. Um. Um. Oh, oh shit! No, 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 no. Uh. Okay, note number 34. Um, somebody did say, if you hold the button, you fall off, as I discovered, but if you press down, you slide. There you go. Nice. Thank you for the tips. What about up? Oh! Oh, that's cool. You can, like, fast climb as well. So that's slow up, slow down. Oh, and you can actually alternate fast up and fast down. So you can go fast down, and then fast up, and then fast down. <laughs> Whee! It does use stamina, though. Okay. Um, note number 62. Some A bunch of you have told me that rolling and hitting is not a way to uh, reveal walls. In this game, you've got to press, I assume, X on the PlayStation um, thing. You'll have the use key. So, that's good. So I'm not wasting durability hitting every wall. I'm just going to um, press X. If you hear this, that's just me hitting the, the X key everywhere. <laughs> uh, I am curious if... You can run around while pressing that and it'll reveal the wall. Or if you've got to be standing still looking at a wall. Um, that wouldn't surprise me if you've actually got to be standing still. Otherwise you could just spam the button running everywhere like a maniac. No! 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 Oh, this is bad. This is some bad shit, man. This is- oh, this is bad. It's all fucked. It's completely fucked. Can I get up the ladder ahead of them all? And then protect the ladder. 
Let's protect the ladder. And I'm not going to waste the SS flask. We're going to pop a life gem. Right. Oh, fuck! They're right! They're on my ass! They're on my ass! Um, can I kick them off? Oh! <gasps> fucking hell! They are on your ass! Seriously, these fuckers are fast as shit, man. They are literally on your ass. <laughs> they, they're certainly on my ass. Ooh. Okay. Oh, they... They've either lost aggro... Or their path... Pathing is... Broken. <laughs> okay, I think it's fucked. But that's good for me. Okay. Jesus Christ. As with the first game. Uh, your own attacks can just step you off the edge of a place. Um, a bit of a bit of a problem. Oh well, first problem is some loot down there. Second problem, in the first game, holding down the down key um, defaulted to the e oh! defaulted to the Estus flask on the item thing. It doesn't in this game. You've got to manually find it on the list of items in this game. Hmm. I wonder if that's a remaster thing. Hang on. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. Look at my health, bruh. Oh, my God. Ah! These fuckers. Fast climb, fast climb, fast climb. And we will pop the Esther flask. Jesus fucking Christ. Let me guess, he's right behind me. Yep, fucking hell. Speed of a thousand panthers. Oh, God, the stress. <laughs> I've started the episode, fought two basic enemies, and I'm like, fucking fucked. I'm, I'm mentally drained already. <laughs> oh, I'm such a basic bitch. Whew. Well, Jesus. I, I thought I made that jump. Let me just do a couple of practice runs. Ah, oh, motherfucker. I was pressing the jump key for the first game. God damn it. No wonder I rolled down the hole. Oh, God. That's it, right. Don't worry, by the end of the game, I'll have figured it out. Let me press, my, press the use key just in case. Short sword. Hey, that's, that's fat. Hey. That's exactly what I needed. Because I'm I'm halfway through even my broken shitty swords. Uh, oh, you've got four ring slots. I didn't even notice that before now. Okay. Oh, well, I definitely should probably think about buying that health ring then. Given with how much health I'm fucking losing. That might be really good. Uh, honestly... If I'm still medium rolling with 60 durability, right, that's my main, like, tough enemy and boss weapon right now. I'll save that. Now, with these three equipped, am I still medium rolling? Oh, that's fast as shit, man. Yeah, cool. Right, I'll have all three of those on. I really don't want to, like, accidentally use and then destroy my best sword. You know what I mean? That guy down there is proper confused, isn't he? Look at him. Alright. Well, there was that fog door beneath me, so let's go to that. I would jump off, but bloody hell. It's like 95% of my health bar in fall damage. Ooh, okay. I'd like to point out at this point that uh, 
all my stress, etc., is is my own damned fault. You know what I'm saying? It's too soon in the game to have niggles. It's just different to the first game. It's not worse, in my opinion. The the parrying does feel worse. That's, I think that's the one thing I've got an issue with so far. Whoa, you little bastard! That looked like a beehive. Yeah, parrying is the one thing that seems kind of weird. Um, and I don't like that compared to the first game. But everything else... Feels very similar. Um. Oh, you All right, fuck you. I will fucking end you. Your life, sir. Um. I'm sure if I had a shield that blocked 100% of my damage, it would feel... Honestly, the combat would probably feel very similar to the first game. Am I using the... Oh, I'm using the good sword. I was thinking my damage was a bit good. <laughs> I didn't mean to have that weapon out. Shit. Right. Fuck. Any more little bastards. There you go. Come on. You know, honestly, even your broken sword is pretty good against these basic ones. Granted, they are basic ones. Ooh, hello. Boots, thank you. One more guy, I think. It's all good souls. God. Oh, one, one more final guy. Calm down, sir. 88. Honestly, my jump attack and power attack is, is very similar damage to a light attack, so I'm just going to stick with the light ones. There was a fog door here, wasn't there? And then I think I got down to a couple of dudes. Hello! Yeah, okay. I recognize where we are now. Any walls? Um. Hello? This is bad. This is some bad shit, man. This is the three of them! There's fucking three of them, man! How, how, how are you supposed to stand a chance, man? I'm on your temporary health items now. Fucking hell. Bring it on, motherfuckers! You know, I've, I've just realized how much more dangerous the basic enemies are in this game versus the first one. Because in the first one, they were all just like undead basic bitches with no weapons. But in this, half of the basic enemies have got swords and shields, I mean. That's a, yeah, uh, an increase in difficulty right there. Right, okay, fucking hell. There's a dude right around here, I do believe. Hello. Fucking hell! <gasps> What's with the lightning fast fucking attacks, man? That's another reason to level up um, adaptability. You get to use all your items faster. Oh, great. Uh, I know it's just a shitty broken sword, but honestly, I've only got like two of them left, so let's not waste it. Have you noticed that the wind-up of some of these guys' attacks is like really slow? And then some attacks are so fast, they're practically instant. <laughs> okay, this is where we got to. Okay, let's go. This is new territory.
Just die. Fucking hell. Fucking hell. Shit's kicking off. Okay, we're good. Oh, it's no, no, we're not good because there's some little shit muncher firing arrows at me. Hang on, where is he? He's up there, motherfucker. Get him killed. There we go. I think the key uh, is to just kill motherfuckers as fast as possible. <laughs> he just fucking... My cells are going up nice nice and fast. In fact, I can afford that life ring if I wanted to zip back. But then I'd have to kill all these motherfuckers. I don't have a bow and arrow yet, do I? That's definitely something in this game that's more important than the first game. Just to shoot the shoot the the shooty guys back. Like how am I supposed to f Um was he supposed to, like, jump on my head and he, like, failed? No! Fucking hell! With your fucking nuclear bomb! Christ, look at that damage. I mean, it wasn't that much, but still. Right, come on. Uh... No! Fucking hell! Just no warning. Literally no time to react. Just, just... A lightning bomb thrower. How's he not damaging himself with that? Right, I'm gonna two-hand and just f wail on this guy. Let's dodge the arrow. Okay, okay. Charge! Fuck you! Oh, I did a nice falling... Uh, lucky falling... Attack! You, you slow piece of shit! <laughs> Fuck hell. Oh, what a str- Right, okay. Let's go up and kill this fucker. Let's heal. Oh, there's an item over there. Now let's artfully dodge his shit. You- Oh god, if you're far enough away, you can't hear when he fires. That's an extra layer of difficulty entirely. You physically got to be watching them. I, um, I'm sorry, I did not see what I was looting there. I was too busy watching that guy. What the fuck was that? Um, do these guys lead the target to where you're running? The fuck. What the fuck did my eyes just see? Okay, let's practice. Let's walk in a direction. He fucking does. Oh my god, they lead the target. Now, does it curve after you like in the first game? I think it does slightly, but not as much as the first. In the first game, arrows would curve like motherfuckers. I don't think it's as bad as that, but bloody hell, they lead the target now. That's new. Break out the shield. I'm just going to use up all my life gems. I, I don't care that they are uh, a limited item. Fuck! Just have him. Have him. As long as my stamina will allow. Have him. Yes. Um, something urn? Watching urn? There was urn or watch or watching urn in the name of that. Uh, oh. What the hell is that? Tight. All oh, right. Okay. Upgrade material. Um. We'll do a once over of all our items and shit. Back at your next bonfire. When I die or whatever. Now is not the time. I'll just end up getting jumped or shot in the back. Oh, the graphics go weird when you move your camera. Have you noticed? 
Is that the same Orthanc that I was seeing from Medulla? That tower. Oh, we've got all so right. Okay, we've got all sorts of shit here. I see. Um. Now, before we commit to some serious shit, <laughs> um, where's this go? Down there, down into the abyss. Okay. Is this locked? No. Hmm. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking at, but I'm hoping over there that's a merchant or something. Right, well, let's rest. Let's just rest. <laughs> Uh, is this on the list of shit now? It is! Ah, oh, that is so, such a handy feature. I can just zip back to Medulla and spend this stuff at the shop now if I want to. Now, who is this? I am a fan of your sort of backpack, sir, with a lantern. Buy something, anything. Oh, come now, help an old woman and buy something. Okay. Merchant hag. She, <laughs> she does look a bit like a hag. Right, what's she got? Uh, let me know if um, the whole... The more you spend with them, the more stuff they have to sell. Does that work? Is that true of all merchants in the game? Or is it just like a specific couple in the town? Because if so, you kind of want to buy stuff from every merchant. To reveal... They're better stuff later. Kestos was a fist weapon in the first game. A strength, B dex. I, I tell you what, there's something to be said about the, the fast weapons in this game. You seem to be able to stumble motherfuckers easier. Than in the first game. Even a basic light attack with a broken sword is stumbling basic enemies in this. That wasn't true in the first game. So I might seriously consider some fist weapons. They're cheap as well. Ooh, axe and shit. Ooh. Honestly, I'm looking more at durability than damage. Y you need a weapon that's going to last you. You know what I'm saying? Uh, no poise. Same weight as my current shit. I did have one guy say poise isn't nearly as m uh, as as good in this game as the first one, but I kind of, uh, well, yeah, I suppose. I'm more interested in breaking the enemy's poise and stumbling them than my own poise, if that makes sense. You can buy effigies quite cheap, actually. That's not bad. Oh, life gems are really cheap. Oh, that's good. Right, okay, that's good. If, if I'm in a pickle, kill a couple of mobs, buy ten more life gems. Dirt cheap. Herb, spell uses, fire bombs. The first ranged weapon I see, I'll probably buy, because I, I need to shoot some motherfuckers. That was one of the items I got. Witching urn, explodes to deal magic damage. Okay, okay. Um, throwing, throwing knife. I forgot about those. Hmm. Bright bug. Inflict more damage, receive less. Uh, let's read some shit. A tiny bug that produces light. Bright bugs are said to comfort the dead and are found in the marshlands leading to the undead crypt. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Just before death, the moment at which they glow most brightly, one attains great power for a short time. Does that mean when my health is very low, basically, um, I gain way higher damage? Uh, often utilized as a last resort for adventurers who have lost their way. Right, okay, so if shit hits the fan, no more Estus flasks, no more health, pop a bright bug. <laughs> I'll, 
I've taken into account that it produces light, though. If we have another catacomb situation, I'm going to buy some of these. Witching Urn. Created by... Created in Melfia, a land that flourishes with magic and pyromancy. Though the magic contained in the urn lacks potency, it is a boon to any inexperienced traveller. That's me. In a nutshell. <sighs> okay, well, I see a key there. Ah, oh, okay, that's that's being bought immediately. Before we read the description for that, Faris's lockstone activates Faris's contraption. Stone activating a creation of Faris the Vagabond. Faris the Vagabond was a legend who wandered the lands, creating contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need. That sounds not optional, but like necessary to me. Like that is a key to unlocking a a door to progress. 4,000. The scope of his travels was... The scope of his travels was so wide that Faris has been mistakenly credited with many inventions that were crea uh, crafted by others. So it activates a creation of that guy. Okay. I'm not... That's all... That would be all my money, so... I might wait until we run into a locked contraption before I use... Uh, or buy that. Fragrant Branch of Yore restores living things from petrification. Okay. Is that the curse of this game? What freezes, motherfuckers? A fragrant tree branch with a faint, sweet smell. 12,000 for one use. Jesus Christ. There was a, a stone statue in the training area. And it was kind of blocking a doorway that led... A fog door that led to the googly eye motherfuckers. Once I can cure that, or, or buy this item, maybe I can progress back in there? Wouldn't be surprised if you can do that and there's some nice item behind that in the uh, tutorial area. But clearly I want the blacksmith's key. Key of blacksmith Lenigrass of Medulla, Medulla the Lenin... Okay. Well, clearly. I'm curious if this is the only way to get that key. I kind of figured I'd find it somewhere nearby, but you've got to buy it. My name is Melencia. You're a stranger to this land. I am. Oh, we get as strangers these days. Everybody's going to run off. <laughs> She's like... The land lake's been a pile of rubble since the war thought long, long ago. Oh. When the giants crossed the sea. Let me guess, we're going to fight a giant in this game. The, the one remaining giant or something. When she just said her name was Melentia, I had flashbacks of Melenia, Blade of Mikla. Just No, just, just horrible flashbacks. The never end. Poor folk like myself and nary a place to sleep. Is she like ridiculously old? That's why I keep all me things right with me. I am. You may travel light, but me thinks you bear a burden of your own. You know, I'm, I might have to turn voices down by one notch. It, the, at least in my ears, they are a little of. She is overpowering. They say these trees grew from the remains of the giants. From each carcass sprouted new life growth. Oh. You see. But you know what huh. they say? Don't believe what an old hag says. <laughs> kind of reminds me of Norse mythology, where wasn't the original giant Ymir slain and it gave birth to the world, to, like, to nature? It's only time that I pick up a moose. Hmm. Of a bargain for you. Next time we meet my family. Oh, is she going to move? Oh. Is she going to go to Medjula, maybe? It's only time. Okay. Right, well, before she... I... Do I have any souls items? Because if I can get 4,000, I'm 300 short, I'll buy that stone contraption thing right here and now. Because I don't want to have to find her again. I need... I need 88 souls. <laughs> uh, can I kill one mob? Don't go anywhere. 
Stay right there. There should be one dude outside here. What up, dude? No, no, fucking hell! Oh, the fight the fucking menu up, man. That's that's some horse shit. Oh, we can block. Right. By the way, did you just see he blocked 100% of my damage there? Even just with a sword, little bastard. Right, anyway. I've got just enough to buy that thing. Don't abandon him. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to abandon you. Um, I'd buy a weapon, but you know, that there's, there's more important shit. Like keys and contraptions and stuff. Okay. I'd love to level up with these souls or whatever, but you know... Of course I'm going to buy the unique, like, key items f before anything else, so... Yeah. Soul Arrow. I am not about my sorceries, but honestly, unless I get like a crossbow soon, I might seriously see myself buying a ranged spell or two. I'm tempted to uh, pop the throwing knives on the on the thing. Actually, maybe they'll be good. I don't know. You know, high damage or whatever. Hmm. What else have I got that would be useful? I could uh, put on your um, pots. I've got five of those magic pots. I mean, why the fuck not? Okay. Right, I can climb down, it looks like. We've got multiple ways to go. We can go down. And I will, because I, I can climb back up. Um... Or I can jump down, but then I can't get back up. Unless you can, maybe there's a way out from down to the bottom of the ladder. I am just wasting durability here. Ow, fucker! Okay, I'm trying to rotate the old camera, just hang on. They're actually moving down there. Okay. Um, there's definitely some connection. I bet down the bottom of this ladder will come out on the ground floor, maybe. Interesting about the giants, though. I'm curious at what the war that she mentioned was, and how old she is if she was around during those warring times. Oh god. Hello. Yeah, I see you. Ain't no fucking way. Ain't... There you go. <laughs> Ain't no fucking way. No, no! Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, fucking hell! Fucking hell! What the fuck, man? Just, 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 where did his friend come from? Pale stone, oh, that's dead, I don't know, you know, gone. Well, fucking hell. So, I'm guessing dying counts as resting, and then your durability is just tippy-top full, yeah? At least, that's a thing. In fact, that's almost kind of a blessing in disguise, given the circumstances. Depending on how far you are away from the last bonfire, you're essentially just getting a free repair. You know? Oh, fuck. Oh, for fuck, Saras. Get this shit real fast. I'm half tempted to die again. Is there any, is there any reason not to? Because I've got my souls, technically. Let's just die. I I can't think of any downside. As long as your, your souls are easily retrievable, you're essentially just getting a full repair of your weapons and your health. Like, I just got a free heal, essentially. Whee! 
Right, no more falling down ladders for fuck's sake. Right, let's kill this one. Fucking hell. This one's got a halberd, by the way. I'm a fan of. Get him quick. Right, let's let my stamina come back. It's a bit sort of basic and cookie cutter, but the light attacks, spamming them just seems to be the meta, at least with this simple setup. I, I, I'm trying to throw the odd like lunge attack in there or whatever, but it, it's just not as good as just spamming the light attack. Even if, you know, that's a little bit boring. Right, let's kill this motherfucker. Hello there. You see what I mean? I can just because because it stumbles them and it uses less stamina. It's just superior. It's locked. This is it. This is Tomb Raider locked from the other side. Or better yet, better example: Resident Evil. You've got to go around the long way before you can open the shortcut. think darkness is your ally. You merely adopted the dark. What the fuck am I looking at? It's got googly eyes. That thing's gonna kick my ass. I was born in it. Molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blinding. Right, okay. Again, locked from that side. Gotcha. Well, let's embrace the first little boss, I guess. Boss lizard. Hang on, shield up. Fucking every corner might have an enemy around it. You know, there is a real argument for just walking everywhere. Maybe it doesn't trigger these guys. Fucking everything's locked, man. Oh, you can't lock on. Unless you trigger them first. Okay. Yeah, you can't lock on. Um. Yeah, that's kind of weird. It doesn't let you, like, lock on or whatever. No! Oh, fuck, I need to... You know, I'm starting to think that person who said poise isn't important, it was wrong. I'm not interrupting them or breaking their poise, but they are breaking mine. So I got stumbled then, and then I was in like a locked chain of getting hit and killed. And he just tanked my hit like it... Like it was nothing. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Just fuck you, die. Light attacks for days. Just be, go be gone with you. Fuck off. Die. Let's get my shit back. And just swing away, George. Oh, th th I tell you, that's a problem. Oh, fucking hell, that's another problem. Fucking enemies coming out of nowhere. Have you noticed me hitting the wall is stumbling myself and then they are just free to hit me as they, however they damn well please. Right, okay. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. So fighting in corridors is a bit of a problem if I'm hitting the walls because I'm literally stumbling myself and not only can I not continue attacking, like I'm enjoying the slashing in the open, but as soon as I hit a wall, not only do my attacks get interrupted for a painful amount of time. Fucking hell, man! 
off and just die. 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 Bastard. Oh god, this game. <laughs> Not only does my attack rhythm get completely interrupted, I then can't even move. I can't roll or literally move to, to back off from enemies. So if I hit a wall, I am truly jet like full blown staggered, essentially. And then I'm just completely vulnerable. And to a dual wielding quite high damage enemy, I'm getting insta fucked. So I, I can't be swinging my weapon anywhere near a wall. Um, I suppose it depends what side of me the wall is on. Why is my health going down? My, my, my cat, I've got a cap now on about half health. What, what? Did I lose my few souls because I died? Yeah, I did, didn't I? No, I didn't. Okay. Right, okay. Um. Okay. Plan of action. Let's turn that frown upside down and make an actual plan. Let's put on my good sword so I'm doing some fucking decent damage. And maybe that will translate to I'm stumbling them a little bit better. You know? So, good sword. Let me avoid the... <laughs> just, just kill me. Kill me. <laughs> what is this episode so far? I'm getting my ass destroyed. Like I'm being fucked by a train. Okay. What a painful first hour this has been. I, I can only apologize. Is it getting continuously shorter or is it like capped out? I think it is still getting shorter, isn't it? I'd love to know what is causing my health to cap, despite just dying. I mean, be beyond the obvious. Just simply dying. Constantly reduce your health to no end, or, or what? Two. Three. There you go. Right, okay. Okay, that sword's way better. Let's kill this one. No! <gasps> Did you see how fast they attack? That's not my fault. Dude. That's ridiculous. Okay. I was doing a running attack. And when I- when my running attack put me in range of him, he attacked so fast, it was faster than my running attack. And it's, it staggered me. I can't contend with that speed. That that makes at all running attacks pointless. Unless my... Uh, unless it's with a long enough range weapon where my range makes me hit them first. Because they are so fast that I can't outspeed them with a running attack. And in my limited ape brain, that means all running attacks are negated and utterly pointless. So, okay, running attacks don't exist. That's not a thing for me anymore. So, okay. Okay. So, game plan. Let's fucking draw up a fucking game plan. If I just keep running at enemies, I'm going to keep dying. So, especially with these two-hand quite high damage motherfuckers, they seem to have, like, combo attacks. My plan going forwards is to let them do that, wait for a clear, blatant opening, which is something a, a, even a moron can figure out, <laughs> uh, and then I will attack them. And then it's a simple spam light attacks until they're dead. And whilst I'm doing that, I'll try to get enemies in the open more so I'm not hitting walls and staggering myself. Um, so, that's a good game plan. When there's multiple enemies, that's a whole other thing. 
then I think my best choice is to try and back off, get to an open area, and just wait for an opening, and then spam some more light attacks. Um, so what the fuck will bring your health up? I'm gonna go through the fog door on half health. Fuck it. But I'm wondering if I need to burn the effigy and go human to reset the full health bar. Hmm. Boss? Ooh. Okay. We've got a big old tree off, oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake. More than one f motherfucker shooting at me. Um. I guess we just go back outside again, but. Was there a way down? Fuck! Fucking hell! Just, 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 just. I'm gonna really listen for footsteps now, just hang on. Let me listen for footsteps. It's important. There is foot Right, yeah, okay. Right, okay, I'm just not paying attention. There is footstep sounds. I thought it- I thought that guy appeared behind me truly silently there, and I was gonna- I was gonna call bullshit, like, fucking no audio cues that there's a fucker right behind me. I've just gotta really listen out carefully. So, some of these guys are coming out of fucking nowhere? Well, there's no way down, so let's go outside and climb up, I guess. I can completely see this game being like the basic mobs are literally harder than the bosses sort of a situation. Like seriously. Let's just get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh. Ooh. Okay. I wonder if there's a way of like breaking this shit later. Okay. Well, there's definitely, uh, something to be done somehow, some way. Let's keep checking out the area. Ooh, we've got a big old guy. Alright, bring it on, you big club-wielding fucker. He's like a big turtle man. Right, I'm not gonna shield against this guy. We're gonna dodge, so... I don't even need to dodge. I can just backstep. No! No, no, no! 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 <laughs> oh, he's armored like. Slash is uh, limited effectiveness. No! Right, I'll. Oh, fucking hell! Just, 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 just dead. Fucker. Well, I'm happy to see that Slash is actually more effective than I thought it would be. I just thought armor, typically Slash is kind of weak, but I was doing some good damage against that turtle man. Okay. Okay, how legitimate an idea is it to basically rush that turtle man's position, run past all motherfuckers? Is that a really stupid idea? Because I'll be honest with you, I'm not sure I can be asked in my thousand and one deaths. Oh, God damn. Get down. Get down, motherfucker. I'm not sure I can be asked fighting every single one of these every single time I die, because I'm a die a lot. Let's grab my shit. My couple of pitiful souls. Actually, he doesn't come at you until you're quite close. I might be able to just fight all of them up here. Oh! Oh! Right, I reckon I was right last episode when I suggested that they've got boundaries. They're probably confined to one specific zone. Ah, right, so it is a legitimate thing to run past all your mobs. As long as you don't get sandwiched and, and fucked on a ladder. 
very good. That's a good thing. Okay, right, don't get clubbed by clubber. I just got a single slow swing for his main weapon, uh, main attack. By the way, um, just in case it wasn't. Oh, fuck. No, bad! Much bad. Fuck off. You better not kill my ass. Fuck you. Heal. Not, not a bad amount of souls. I think there was like 500 souls. Okay. Okay. I had a thought and it's gone. <laughs> uh. Oh, if it's not clear, the, the, the reason I died to him that first time wasn't just because I'm a complete fuckwit. I thought if I put a... Uh, if I gave him repeated attacks like a second, third, and a fourth, it might stumble him. Like, I'm not sure if the staggering in this game is just based on a single attack's damage, or if the damage can, like, add up and eventually stagger them. Because I think that's what, that's how it is in Elden Ring. I don't know about Dark Souls 1, but... Yeah. I, 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 I hoped that a second and a third attack might then add up and stumble him, but he didn't. He, he just... He didn't give a fuck. <laughs> and then he killed me. Okay, hello there. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> oh, God. All right, okay. Please, Rue Rai. Okay, this might be a... Uh, oh, fucking hell. Right, shield's coming out. Okay. Nothing to fear, just, uh, just... As long as, as long as he can't throw those bombs, like, 90 feet, like some sort of Olympic thrower, we're good. I don't want to pop a life gem, I'll be honest. Um, I was gonna say, this might be a good time to test the damage of his throwing knife, especially if he's not gonna come down. I wouldn't be surprised if it's like really low damage. And is it like unlimited range? No, it's not. It's got an arc. Okay, that's fine. It's quite a good. Oh, that's actually real. Oh, okay. That's great. This sword has got nice durability. Right, so it proper knocks them back, and as long as you get them off the little perch, that's fine. Ooh. It. Oh. If that's a spear, then the move set in this game is completely different to the first one. Oh, there you go. That's that's the move set for the spear I was expecting, like a pokey boy. That's what you get. That's what you get. Hello. Ooh, now can I, uh... I'm trying to get up on the ledge, goddammit. There you go. I want to do, see if we can do a fall attack. Oh, brilliant. Nice. So, dying a million times like I have so far today, it's it's the same as being cursed in the first game. You're capped at a half, like half health. Because it, it hasn't gone down since it reached halfway. Thank God. Now, I would naturally just jump off there, but it would kill me so fast.
I've probably gone past an illusory wall already. Like, th this looks like it could be an illusory wall. Ooh, hello. Stamina? Okay. That doesn't look like a regular enemy down there. Ooh. Regular enemy? Can't lock on. It must be a friendly. Okay, all right. Before we talk to him, I'll commit to some serious shit. Uh, you know, let's just talk to him. Hello there. Nice spear. Hello there. Traveling all alone in these treacherous times. Unfortunately, yes. Well, I hope you have a very good reason. Oh, hogwash. Who am I to judge? <laughs> I like your armor, sir. My name is Pate. Pate. <laughs> I journey hither and thither on a sort of treasure hunt, you might call it. Oh. Be careful out there. There's talk of unsavory bandits who prey upon travelers like yourself. I think I might have met some of them. I know it's Pate, but uh, he he I christen him Pate from now on. Like Salmon Pate. <laughs> oh yes. You'll be cautious if you go any farther. Oh Jesus Christ. There's treasure in there for certain, but the entrance locks from behind. <laughs> I saw the same design earlier. I saw that before I happened. I'm sure. I saw the same design earlier. And he insisted that he go inside first. <laughs> the rather brusque fellow tried to swipe the loot for himself, but it trapped him inside. I still have the gent's ring. I do hope he wasn't. Oh, can I have the ring, please? <laughs> if I can prove he's dead, can I have his ring? Yeah, that's why I didn't go through that threshold. I see a gate. I know what kind of game this is. <laughs> Any threshold can trigger some serious shit in a game like this. I'll leave this one to you. I'm worried about what my... I'll leave this... Right, okay. Now, he did mention loot. There isn't... This isn't gonna collapse on me, is it? Fucking hell! Fucking Jesus Christ! Fucking mother of God! What the fuck? Let's, let's fall off intentionally. That's all good. Intentionally. That's an... Oh, fucking hell. Okay. Note number 112 of the episode. You... Sprinting is not enough to run around or get away from enemies. It's just not fast enough. You, you see what I'm saying? I tried to. I thought sprinting around him there, I'd be able to evade them. Nope. Unlike the first game, their attacks fucking lock on in this game. So if you try to run past them, their swipe. In the first game and Elden Ring, I believe, when when an enemy goes to swipe at you, if you can sort of run around the attack. In this game, they turn whilst mid swipe. So if you try to run past them, they swipe. They just fucking track you and then hit you on the side, you know. So you've just got to keep a distance or time the roll in this game. <laughs> Goodbye, 2,000 souls that I worked so hard to get. Fuck it now! I can't believe- I can't- Right, okay, let's just- Let's get back up, let's run past all these motherfuckers. I cannot believe the default is to just launch yourself off the ladder. How's that the default? And then you've got to put in an X. Oh, let's big fuckers back again. How is that the default, right? And you've got to put in an extra control to slide down. How? Who? Who the fuck is in charge of game development? Thought it was ever a good idea for the default to just, just, just let Jesus take the wheel and just jump off the ladder clean to your death. If you've got a half-cursed life bar. Like, 
Who the fuck thought that was a good idea? Why is that even in the game? That's not in the first game and it's not in fucking Elden Ring. May I suppose maybe it's just there for like, trying to be as fast as possible. Oh, Jesus, talk about him being incapacitated for a long time. I'm gonna take my time. Dude, that was that was menacing as fuck walking towards me with that shit in the sky. Ooh. Well shit man, that was a bit close. Fucking hell. Oh, I can't believe I wasted all that shit. Um Oh I didn't you know what I didn't even register this as being here before. Oh, hang on. Hang on. That shit's gonna collapse into the ballista room, isn't it? Uh... Okay, well, you know what? Let's commit to the same way as before. Fuck! What? How's that fair? How the fuck? Oh, this game is gonna make me... Where the fuck did this guy come from? Oh my god. Oh, this game. Why are my attacks hitting walls, but then he can attack clean through the wall and just hit me? Secondly, where the fuck did that second guy just, just materialize from? Apparating like fucking Dumbledore. Let's, uh... I, I don't need to, it's kind of a waste of a knife, but, uh... Let's just, uh... Let's knock him off the edge. Okay, let's just kill him instead. Fuck you, sir. Now let's uh, falling attack this second one down here. With a nice handy... Uh, oh, hang on, no, we could, I think we can pull one. Right, line of sight is a... Like, eyesight is a thing in this game, I see. <laughs> uh, right, okay. I wonder if they would parry me if I attacked with that shield up. Oh no, he just- Oh, you little bastard! You fucking pieces of shit! You undead ugly fuckers! I'ma fuck you- <sighs> This is- right, I, I, Okay, let's keep going. Um. Let's get a nice falling attack on this guy. Like before, I've got this. Fuck! Fuck! Okay, whatever works. Fucking attack! Oh my god, the stamina bar. Right, okay. I need more stamina, I need more health, I need more fucking adaptability, I need more everything. Vigor. Cargo load, whatever the fuck. Uh, equip load. I need more of every stat. I'm starting to feel like I'm under level for this area. Surely I don't suck. This much ass. Um, if I die again, I'm gonna try burning an effigy and see if that resets the old health situation. Right, so are these ballistas just gonna fire now on site? Because they've already been triggered. Oh, I. No, sorry, right, I get it. Those. Mobs that it came out and attacked me were manning the ballistas, I'm guessing. Or are they still manning the ballistas? <gasps> Fucking up! Nope, they're still there. Right, okay. Let's um let's get some height on these motherfuckers. Let's fast climb up. I'm gonna pop a life gem. Not a not a flask, but a life gem. I'm gonna get the flask on and then we're gonna kill some motherfuckers. I'm gonna two hand. Oh, ooh. Now, if I'm going to attack, I don't want to attack clean off the ladder. I want to attack at an angle so I don't fall down the motherfucker. But I wonder... Oh god, it does step forward with that, but I wonder if you can backhand them off the... off the ladder. 
you know, I would do a falling attack, but I'll just die. <laughs> uh, I seem to only have aggroed one of them, though. No, 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 come back here. Come back here. That's right, that's right, that's right. Okay. What the fuck? What the fuck? I mean, kudos on the parry, sir, but... C come on, I was actively staggering him with hits then. What the fuck? I'd love to know how you pull off a parry when you're actively getting murdered. Imagine that. Imagine in real life getting attacked by like an axe murderer, right? Enters your house, starts hitting you with an axe. Imagine you, you just, you're just you getting fucking axed and then you just pull off a perfect fucking parry. Go fuck yourself. Right, okay. Okay. Can I physically see some legs like behind one of these ballistas? I can see something on the left one, I think. I can see that guy there. I wonder if they are automatic, then. I'm curious if I can toss a uh, knife, like, over or behind that thing. Oop, hello. I don't think they're going to attack me. These must be, like, manned things. Yeah. We've got three fuckers. Um. You know what? These throwing knives are fucking phenomenal. Oh my god. I'm so terrified of everything that moves. <laughs> Those souls just scare the shit out of me. I remember throwing knives just being weak as fuck in every other sort of game, you know? They're fucking skilled in this game. They're dangerous and highly skilled, seriously. They can backstep, they can roll, they can parry you like fucking professionals. They can man ballistas. What a bunch of dangerous motherfuckers. Soul arrow, that's good, okay, arrow. Soul and a shield, okay. Blue wooden shield. I wonder if that's like magic resistant. Can I turn one of these on its creator? Right, let's, let's running attack, see if that's any good. Okay. Can I turn the motherfucker? No, okay. I wonder if I can pull a mob. And then use this middle one to, uh, <laughs> to kick his ass. Fuck it out! What? Hang on, I just killed something there. I just got like a thousand million souls. What did I just kill there? If you tell me I killed like a friendly guy. I must have hit like an explodey barrel or something. Because that's not exploding. I must have hit something. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I kind of want to go up to the roof and and see it collapse, almost certainly. Right, I'm going to keep an eye out for... Um, what are the castle gates called that come down, like these gates? Are they called porticles or something? Porto something? Or is that... Oh, fucking hell. All right, okay. Whoa, you little bastard. Like, you little bastard. Um, okay, another test. Another interesting test. What's the height that you can throw a throwing knife? Oh, my God. I can hit him. I fucking hit him like a pro. Um, oh, I need to get back a little bit. Right, okay, fuck you. Just, just... <laughs> fuck you. Right, there's no thing on there. You've got motherfuckers hitting a tree, just having the... the time of their life down there. Okay. Right, before we commit to anything else. 
Let's go up and loot the items up yonder. And I might as well hit Papa Nesta's flask. Uh, there's some weird ragdoll shit going on with these bodies when you return to an area. What the fuck are my eyes looking at? Let's keep moving, just in case some serious shit's gonna go down. Roll, dodge and roll, dodge and roll and weave and dodge and roll. Right, we've got a big, tough... Oh! Perfect time to have no Estus flasks, eh? I'd love this guy's sword, look at that fucking sword. Fuck! <laughs> I got an Estus Flask Shard. Right, I'm not scared of you. I'm, I'm sort of scared of you. Fuck, I know. Oh god, bad. All of the bad. So this guy got... I mean, what the fuck? Flies into battle being carried by a gigantic crow. I got an Estus Flask Shard, which is interesting. I did manage to get all the loot. <laughs> um, this is interesting. Right, okay. Let's not leap off. In fact, I did say... I'm gonna use this. I've got four of the fucking things. Cannot burn. What? Okay. Guess I'm just cursed to forever have half health then. I was going to say, if there's ever a time I need, like, full health, it's when a big crow-carrying motherfucker starts to attack me. Well, let's go for this. I can see myself, as long as I'm medium rolling or whatever, I can really see myself just forever um, equipping heavy armor just for the protection, because I'm getting constantly shit upon. Come on, let's take my time. Is he still up there? What the fuck? WTF. So we kissed our 2,000 souls goodbye, then we just kissed another, like, 2,000 souls goodbye. What? Who the fuck carpet bombed me? Like, like what just happened to my ass? It looked like he hit the wooden things and then they exploded, but they hadn't exploded previously. They just sort of, like, collapse when you roll into them or whatever. What just exploded like a bomb? <sighs> did, did he hit something that I wasn't aware of? Maybe these, like... Oh, ooh, I wonder if they do explode. On camera, be kind to me. Keep be kind to me. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. We killed him. At least this guy gives you a nice flat 600 souls. I can't, oh, having to kill these fuckers every time is such a pain. Let me uh, let me pull this one away from the unhittable little spot. And away from his bomb zone. His nuke zone. Um. Well, let's get rid of all this shit. Hang on. Fuck up! 
Right, just end you. Just die. Just, just, just be gone with you forever. Fuck off. What the? F I can't with this game. I'm getting ma guys materializing out of the fucking ether. What is this? What is this? That must have been a second guy up to the right up there that I didn't see or something. Now I can't go up there lest I I anger the crow armored gods. Um the floor didn't I got all the loot though. So I've kind of I can go back and get a third flask, I believe. At the moment of my choosing. Can I get this guy to fall off without I don't want to have to use a knife every time, you know? Um. Ah! Let's pull the one guy looking at me down here. Right, okay, there we go. I might, I might be able to min-max the situation. It'd be great if they could kill each other with that shit. Maybe I do need to start trying to parry these guys. Oh, maybe I just need to keep my cool better. Yes, get flattened, you little bastard. Ow. Like, I need to use my only remaining flask already. Already, let alone bosses, let alone room full of ballista firing motherfuckers. All flasks gone already. Fucking hell! What? what? I can't, you can't even see me. Pure luck. Pure luck. Okay, we're doing good. No, we're not. What the fuck am I talking about? <laughs> we are doing so much ass. It's actually funny. Right, okay. So, here's the dealio. All these guys will be alive, yeah? That's fine. That's all fine. Oh, I like the fact that they can actually shoot each other. That's actually great. Ooh, hello. Hello. Right, okay, we've got two at once. Let's get off the stairs, because vertical fighting is a bit fucking weird. Oh, we've got three at once. Oh, my God. I'll tell you what. Right, okay. Right, wonderful. Wonderful. Did you see how effective that magical pot was? That magical pot was the shittest item in any game I've ever played. Worse than rubbish in Dark Souls 1. What the fuck was that pot? That was some bullshit pot. Right. Okay. Um. Oh, I don't know what the move is here. I c I'm not making any pro progress here because I'm just getting slapped and within bounds of reason I'm having to kill like you can run past some enemies but there's a certain point where like I run into this big fucking it is just not safe to continue I've got to kill these now otherwise I can't kill the fuckers in front of me further down there um like how much right uh Right, you know what, let's let's try one time, it doesn't matter. I've, I'm losing all my souls here. Souls are truly irrelevant at this point. 
Let's go. Toss your pot, see if I give a fuck. I might run through the gate, honestly. I don't see why not. Um, now, this it did say it would fall behind me, and that's fine. I accept that if it does. Because what else have I got to lose? There you go, it's falling down. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. In fact, if anything, that's actually really good. Never before would I say a door locking behind me is a good thing, but it's stopping 77 enemies following me into these 77 new enemies. Let's run past them all. So sometimes in life, you just gotta go for it. Oh, aromatic ooze. I shall... Fucking hell, man. Like, I've got the hordes of hell on my ass. I'm hoping that walk speed, they can't catch me up to hit me. I'm just... Right, this is too much, man. Let's, uh... Fine, it's all good. Right, I can jump down, I believe. To back to where I was, but oh, it's locked now. Oh. Do you, did, did you enjoy his slow walk of victory after he killed me then? His slow walk, like shambling like a zombie. You, you've got, you've got to admire the fact that they, they seem stupid and slow. They shamble like stupid motherfuckers, but then they are lightning fast when they're on your ass, and they're killing you with a single hit. <laughs> I did good running around. I wonder if that gate is going to be closed now, and I might have like permanently fucked myself here. I'm just going to go for it. Seriously. I can probably jump down there and get loot some stuff. In fact, you know, I mean, that, I've got nothing to lose. Who gives a fuck? This is sadly one of those times where I truly have nothing to lose. I <laughs> just go for it. Loot stuff, do stuff. Uh, thanks. I ain't got no time for your shit. Can I run and jump somewhere else out here, or is this just, like, fucked? No, I can't. Okay. That's fine. Well, I got some loot. Let's uh, just keep going down. New places. New horizons. I, w I wonder if it's a legitimate thing in this game to basically do what I've done. Just haul ass around the map, looting all the stuff, dying a thousand times as you do it. But just I, I managed to loot an Estus flask shard, which is pretty good. Considering I just got annihilated by a big armored boss. This sword is doing me uh, is doing me well, I must say. I'm a fan of the sword. I can't seem to get over there any easy way. It's all blocked off, so let's go up and across. Well, that goes back to where I've come from. That's good. Okay. Fuck you. Ignore all the projectiles. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's not fine. Ooh. 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 Oh, I'm so dead. We fucking dead. Ladies and gentlemen. Charge. Get some loot. Get more loot. Get all the loot. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Just, just, doesn't matter that there's boulders. Fuck the boulders. Heal. I wipe my balls with boulders. Nothing. Hey, nothing. You see, if you just run fast enough, you can get away with anything. They're all fucking left behind now. I didn't finish my thought yet, so I wonder if in this game it is a legitimate thing to literally, short of killing the bosses that you need to kill. Is it a legitimate thing to just sprint through whole chunks of the map until I get to the next bonfire? Because I've just spent how long 
two hours basically struggling on basic mobs, or I can run like a fucking lunatic possessed. <laughs> Dodging and weaving like the Flash. Like a crazy bastard. Climbing ladders, dodging arrows like fucking Neo. And then I'm, I'm safe. I am fully safe. I'm dodging boulders. I'm completely safe. Granted, I'm not earning any souls <laughs> by running th past everything. Not counting uh, soul items that I'm looting. But I've got all, all the loot so far. Kind of. You know? Run past everything. Dodge a boulder like a pro and I'm safe. You know, yes, you, you want to loot the items, but I've just zipped past every fucking mob known to man, and it, it has made no difference in the end. I've got all the loot, and I'm in a new place. I'm trying to do the mental maths here. You, you want souls to level up and shit, obviously. But at the same time, what I just did was so much faster... Kind of easier, technically, and took me like 30 seconds to get to a new place. Um, now, is there more loot? I could have sworn there was some more loot somewhere, like up there. Uh, actually, I bet it comes out and around because I remember. There was a little cave wall ho uh, thing around here to the left, I'm guessing. That looks like a friendly guy. No, it doesn't. Um. Okay, hello there. Nice to meet you in it's such a miserable, horrible place. Okay, that's just... Uh, that is not a good position. Okay. Hello there. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just daydreaming, I think. My name is Kale. I'm a traveler like yourself. Kale. I'm navigating the continent to create a map. Okay, can I contribute or... Uh, or hell, can I have what map you've made so far? Why cartography, you ask? Well, uh, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was um, a, a, a curse. Uh, something about a curse. <laughs> How embarrassing! I seem to have lost my focus. But I do know one thing for certain: I have always been very fond of maps. Okay. Well, it's good to have a purpose. Is he, like, draw, trying to draw the map on the floor, on the rubble? I came to this land some time ago. Drangling, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. This guy's in some, Have like, hefty armor. Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. I've made it my temporary home. Oh! As something of a squatter. I'm oh, can I have your key? <laughs> so I can live in your house. That must be the biggest building that was locked. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map, like none I'd ever seen. Ooh. I believe that it's a map of Dranlik. Are we actually going to be able to see a map at some point? I'm traveling the land to prove it. Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Okay, so now he's remembered his purpose. No, that wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. I'm trying to see his face, you know what I mean? I'm not trying to angle the camera. Um, well, do you, do you mind kindly telling me how the fuck you got here? Were you looking for that map? Yes, I was. Wonderful. What? Then you are fascinated by maps. What happened then? Shame on you. You should have told me before. Did I? Yeah. Take this. Oh! The the mansion. How's well? Thank you very much. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. So I've got two. I've got the blacksmith's key and that key now. Well, our return to Majula is going to be very 
productive. That's something I can do at any time, really. Well, that's, that's a lesson right there in why you should speak, like, exhaust all your dialogue options with a certain person. Got a key. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. That cat. Oh, but one thing. I would not venture deep into the mansion. <laughs> yeah, okay. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. I don't even want to know what horrific th shit awaits me. Just be careful, please. The cat did say something about a special stone in the town. I wonder if that's the same stone he's on about. I'll be back in Medulla's town. Oh, right, okay. Perhaps we will meet again. Okay, so he'll be back in the town. Perhaps we... I guess once we get like a loading screen or whatever, he'll be in the town. Well, that's cool. I'm glad we've made a friend. The, the map... The map maker. Amber Herb. Amber Herb. Okay. Well, I, I kind of want to see if you do get a map at some point. I wonder if it's just like a an overview to give you an idea of of the areas of the game sort of a thing. Um, I'm going to save all descriptions of shit that I haven't read yet for going back to the town, which might be soon, by the way. Um, I'll keep going a little bit longer, but I kind of want to see what we can do with a blacksmith. Because if I can easily upgrade something like right now, why would I not? Can oh shit! Any items on there? I don't think so. We can go up the ladder, or we can go down into the into the depths. I'm glad I ran past everything there. We met a friendly guy. We got some items. That is no way that's not certain death. Right, okay, dead end. Cool. Ooh, so there's something down deep in the mansion. Understood. I wonder if that's like one of the four things. The four big main bosses. Oh god, I've got the familiar chink of like someone firing at me. Oh, bloody hell. Uh, let's rush this fool. <sighs> oh, fucking hell, right. They can do follow-up attacks pretty quick. Uh, well, we can jump onto the old rooftop. Um, but that's going back the way we came. Uh, there's got to be some reason to come down here, or is this is this just a um, or this is literally the only place to go? There was nothing else in the cave, was there? And there's no way back from there. Right, I see. Right, I see. This is the way back. Simply, okay. Right. Well, let's uh, let's take some fall damage. Oh, no. Okay. Hang on, is there some loot over there? Jesus Christ. Well, we've got, we've got a motherfucker over there, but I can't see a way over there, really. Except from down there. And a doorway there. And some loot there. Well, hang on, hang on, hang on. There might be more than meets the eye to this area. Can I jump off of there? Or jump down here? Oh, we can jump down here. You see? You better to be... Th Do you mind? So I've got that. I'll just go back to where I've been. Oh, we can go to our death. 
Oh, we can go down. Okay, let's 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 go this way. Okay, we're making progress. Sure, that's what I'm looking forward to. Is that another turtle man? It is. That's not a usable gate. Well, we got some loot, so let's keep going. And this is a nice shortcut back. Well, I think we made all the progress we can over this way. I do believe. Let's go back. I mean, that's it. We made some good progress. I met the key boy. Since we've done all that shit, might be worth just quickly resting at the fire again. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, God. We've still got the lizard boy down there. Let's just climb nice and fast. It's a shame I don't have more souls. <laughs> um, right now, I might do the honest to God, I might do the same thing. Basically commit to going absolutely mental with sprinting around because it worked wonders just then. So let's try it again. Let's run past every motherfucker dodging bombs, bosses. We will be killing big motherfucker up there at some point, but right now... I might run back, um... See, that's still closed, and that's fine. I can fall down if I want to, or I can just run through here, basically. Or, or here. Shit, there's multiple places to go. There's a ladder, that's fine. They're still just attacking that tree. Is that like a giant that they're talking about? They did mention trees and giants and shit. Oh, now, you see, I've lost them all. Let's, let's recoup. Let's slow down and, and stop. This is definitely one of those tree giants that we're on about. Stamina. There we go. Thank God. Okay. Right. Well, I freed the tree from the evil grips of these little pesky bastards. Is he friendly? Is it a living thing? Alas, nothing happened. Mm. Okay. I wonder if you've got some sort of way of bringing trees back to life in this game. Something like that. Well, they clearly hated the tree. Which means I automatically like the tree. So we'll try and save every tree from being chopped. Okay, we can climb up and that goes to uh, somewhere we haven't been yet, unless that's the boss arena. Let's not peek the top, let's have a little look. Um, oh, there's a room there, that's important. Okay, fuck it. Ah, we were over there before, weren't we? Um... Right, when we walked through that gate there, we, we did like a roundabout trip and we ended up here. Falling down, but now we're on the other side. Oh! Ooh. Oh, they, oh, they did try to follow me. As long as they don't toss bombs at me, I'm fine. Dude, right, let's... Honestly? I'm dying before the swords can break. Let's, uh... Shit, shit, shit. Let's put on the good sword. Uh... 
That's 20. I could put on a fast sh 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 sword. Low durability, but yeah. And then I want the crossbow on. Then we'll equip the bolts, I believe. Okay. Am I still fast rolling? Oh, medium. Yeah, okay, cool. Well, let's two hand and let's give this a dry run. Hello there. Hello there. Um, R1 is a light attack. What's R2? Nothing. Okay. Well, it seems to be like unlimited range, which is nice. Dude, right, okay. Talk about easy mode. I'll save my precious ammo for, like, like hard to reach motherfuckers like those two, not just dudes I can kill on the ground. Uh, cool. Very nice. You see, Dark Souls 1 I had no interest in ranged because it was easy enough, honestly, with the hand-to-hand -hand combat. In this game, it's so much harder. Bring on the long range, frankly. Shield raised. I did see a big old chest in there. Oh, hang on, no, because once you light the torch, that's it, I believe. You've got a fixed five minutes forever for that torch, so I won't light that. Fucking pro. To a, a second torch, or I've got two torches. Very good. Even better. Oh, things are looking up, ladies and gentlemen. Hello there. Loot. Precious loot. Mailbreaker. I remember that from the first game. Infantry helm. Standard helm. I've got five poise. Four weight. So, so 40, five, four. No poise, slightly lighter, slightly less physical. I'll keep my standard helm on, I think. Now, mail break. Let's take that shit off for now. Um, thrusting sword, mail breaker. That's it. Uh, I'll save my reading again. I'll, I'll read all of this when we get back to town. Um, so, let me know if you think that's a good idea. You know. When I'm on a dangerous, like, hectic adventure when enemies can just appear behind me, save my reading for when I'm safe in a town or, or some shit. And I'll just try and remember all the new items that I haven't read yet. Or would you prefer that I read them on the fly as I pick them up? Let me know. Haven't seen any illusory walls yet. Are we trapped down here? I think we are. Safe to jump down? I mean, not really, but I've got no choice. Have you seen the damage of my... Oh, motherfucker! That... Oh, I saw that! He was attacking from behind the safety of his shield. Only a couple of weapons could do that in the first game. One of which was th were thrusting swords. I wonder if that mailbreaker sword can do the exact fucking same. It's significantly less damage and less durability than the one I'm using. But let's just quickly... Oh, what does it need? Um, remove, hang on. Requires 12 decks, okay. Okay. Well, we'll remove it for now, but I'll... Yeah, I bet that will work from behind the safety of a shield. A spear, okay. We're starting to get lift off. Um, what does that need? 18 decks, right? I need some sit, right? Okay, I knew I was under leveled for this fucking zone. <laughs> I can't use any of the weapons I'm picking up. A 
Hello? Life gem, homeward bone, that seems oddly telling. Let me know. Those little moments where I get a couple of souls out of nowhere. Is that some old enemy that I ran away from? With, the, like, the, the pathfinding is kind of fucked or whatever, and they've kind of just died a mile away on their own. Is that what's happening there? Okay, another locked door. Well, let's kill some motherfuckers. Ow. Right, you know what? I don't even want to risk it. Oh, God. Fucking hell. Jump off. Can I take the damage? I can. Heal. 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 Heal like a trained dog. Stamina. Stamina is key. Stamina is key. He blocked my attack, but he still died. Fuck you. Backstab, motherfucker! That's how the fuck I roll, bitch. The shielded ones are, uh... Yeah, the shielded ones are difficult. Okay, can I see my jeweler from here? That'd be kind of cool. Is it up there somewhere? I can see a hand on a statue. On like a sword statue. Dude, that's a giant sword. Oh, hang on, you can see much better, yeah? Um, I'm unclear as to whether or not that's near Medulla. Hmm, well, there's, there's an item on a little sticky out thing up there. Fogged, oh god, help us. Oh, good Jesus. Oh god, hang on, I see, I see a head. I see a head. Do you see a head? Fucking hell. Hello. You know when he slams the ground like that? It slows my movement. It like stumbles me in the area. Like that, and I can't move again. Goodbye, sir. Right. If I can see a campfire, I'm going to level up because I've just been dying and losing my souls constantly. I've had nothing to level up with. Okay, right. Let's climb the old thing. The sword. The second sword, by the way. you got statue dude holding a sword and then... Broken off. Oh! Halbert, I saw that, I saw that. Did you see that? Because I saw it. That w <laughs> Fuck! Oh. It took all of my mental power to grasp the idea that I should loot that item before I inevitably died. And I'm glad I did, because I inevitably died. Um, and I saw it was a halberd. In that split second, I knew. I, I did, like, f lightning fast mathematics to, to know to loot because I was all, I was going to die. <laughs> but where the fuck did they come from? I want those souls back, motherfucker. I think it is relati relatively safe to just run past a bunch of shit to get back there. Relatively. All things relative. 
if I can dodge the bombs and roll past some of the attacks, I think we are generally safe. Like, I can run past him nice and fast. Dodge the bomb, dodge the bomb. You see, he, or like the guys who throw arrows, that fucker throws the things where you're running, not where you are. Yeah, I want to get past this fucker if I can. I need him to move though. Um. Goodbye, 1500 runes, good, good, runes, souls. Good, goodbye. How many times have I got like a few thousand souls and lost them permanently? And it, it just, it so truly wasn't my fault. What the fuck ultra bombs are they throwing? One moment they're throwing a basic little shitty little fire pot. And then the next they're tossing an actual frag grenade at me. And that's all my souls gone again. Um, I don't know why I'm resting. Well, I've got, once again, we're, we're in that sort of silver lining moment. I've got nothing to lose at all. So I'm going to sprint like a fucker, like a fuckhead, to that fog door. If I can even make it that far. And in this game, that is one monumental if. If I'm fast, I can just run straight past that fucker. Let's, um... That's cool. Right, let's keep going. Let's roll. There we go. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Let's go down straight away. Nice and fast, nice and fast, nice and fast. There you go. Very good. Right, the guy blocking the doorway is a bit of a problem. Um... I might just try and rush him. Good enough, good enough, good enough, good enough, good enough. Let's go up so I'm away from those fuckers. And I'll kill this one. There you go. There you go. Right, okay. Very good. I've got 180 souls. Fuck! 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 Fucking hell, man! These endless fools! Heal. If there's a boss, that's, that's one flask gone. Oh my god, firebomb. Um, oh, let's just... I don't... Fuck it, fuck it. Have a, have a knife. Have a second one, just so I've got, only got to kill one. There you go, right, come at me. Good, very good, that was a good jump. Very good, very good, very good. Very good. Fuck's sake. Oh god. Be gone with you. Right, okay. I'm gonna really look at this halberd close, because I loved the halberd in the first game. There's no other reason to go up there. Okay. I don't know where the fuck they came from. I assume they must have jumped down from somewhere. Um, I'm, I'll read the description of the halberd later, but I'm just looking at the damage. Fucking hell. Ooh. Durability. Oh, it's b higher damage, higher durability. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> What's it need? Just a thousand. A thousand thousand stats. Okay, forget it. <laughs> Can't have anything good. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, fog door. Fog door. I choose this death over that death. Miss death. Okay, very- Oh, he's gonna still be following me, isn't he? Right, we've got shit we can light. Let's get the loot. I recognize where we are now. Shortcut, thank fuck for that. Please, pl unlock. Yes! I've made fantastic progress. Fantastic progress! You missed, bitch! And again you miss. You just keep missing because you suck, bitch! You ain't nothing! Okay, let's give me some stamina back. Okay.
Your turtle shell is slowing you down, sir. Dude had like 0 0.01 HP remaining. A, a, a medium strength fart would have killed him. But it's okay, don't worry, because I unlocked the door. I made sure that was the first thing I did. <laughs> was unlock the fucking door. Well, now let's get my like two souls. <laughs> Yeah, every soul is precious, man. Seriously. I'll take these 450 souls all the way to the goddamn bank. Let's kill some of these fuckers. Fuck you. They're even, like, backhanding that hard, but have you seen? Interesting moveset when you two-hand that. Right, we've got an elevator that goes definitely down towards Lizard and Loot. I mean... Oh, there's the Lizard. I was like, what the fuck am I looking at? That's, that's the Lizard. Okay. Oh, there's two Lizards. Oh. Well, I wonder if they're actually not that strong. And I can just crossbow them, maybe. Right, do not... Stand. Do not fall off the edge, you fuckwit. Uh, uh, Donde es el queso? Was I just like at a weird angle then? Got to be able to lock on at the very least. Hang on, hang on. Oh shit! Right, okay. Not, not worth the crossbow bolts, and clearly too fucking strong for my ass. I'm glad I've got a shortcut now. Thank fuck for that. Well, at least we've made tangible, quantifiable progress. Oh, is the lizard pissed off because I hit him? He, oh, he's, yes, he's looking at me. <laughs> Little spade head lizard. At least I've made quantifiable progress. You can't deny that. I've got some shit. I mean, why am I not going back to Medulla right now to, uh, to, uh, Estus Flask Boost? I don't know why. Um,. I've got a, tor a few torches and shit. I could be lighting these, but I still don't really know why I would do that. Let's... I need to take a, a five-minute break, because I need to visit the bathroom, as you do, and grab a drink. I've been going two hours, 17 minutes. I'm trying to aim for three hours um, with this playthrough. Uh, Unlike my Dark Souls 1 4 hour episodes, I want to try and keep these to 3 hours, so we'll keep going another 40 minutes or whatever. We need a good lengthy session of Medulla, but I'd like to progress a little bit more in this area if we can. Right, I've taken my 5 minute break, what was I going to do? Uh, I think... Now I've got 600 souls. Which I, I am, I know that is... Nothing. <laughs> but I don't want to lose them, like fucking hell. Um, I'm, I was tempted to use a couple of Souls items, but I'm tempted even more to actually wait and use all that and buy shit and do stuff when I'm back in Medulla. Um, let's just one last time see what this per person has to sell. So you can buy a broken sword. Uh... An axe with actually good durability and damage, actually. Not bad. For 700 fucking souls, that's n very good. And, a s and that's Slash. And that is a strike weapon. Uh, I'm guessing weaknesses and so on are similar in this game, so strike will be good against armoured enemies, I believe. Yeah. So I might want to get that, because that club might be pretty decent against big f crow fuck. Uniquely. 
Um, I'll remember that she's got a strike weapon to sell. Um, so yeah, you know what? I, I won't use the souls to level up. I'll save them, see if there's anything I want to buy from like a shopkeeper or whatever. Jesus. <laughs> Can you stop blocking the doorway, you annoying, spiky fuck? I wonder if you can sell stuff in this game. I I'm guessing not, but it would be kind of nice. Uh, you know, if you could sell all your shit. Right, hang on a second. Hang on just one second. That is blocked off, isn't it? And there's a chest over there. Yeah, I would really, 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 really love to make a little tiny bit more progress. Even if I was just looting those items down there before I get lizarded to death. Just a teeny bit of extra progress. I think that bossy fuck might have to wait, honestly, until next... Um... Oh, hello. Yeah, that crow armoured big fuck might have to wait. Because there's a few things I can do. I can access the blacksmith now, probably upgrade a weapon a level or two. I can get a, a, another Estus flask. I mean, I could do that literally now if I wanted to. <laughs> I'm just fucking lazy. And I want to save all my medulla shit to do it in one go. Um, but there's, there's, I can get tougher and stronger before I face that crow fuck, if I wanted to, so I will. Large leather shield, that might be a better shield. Okay. And why try and fight him now? He, he literally is one shot killing me on half health, so fucking, there's no point even trying at this point. I wonder if lighting these has anything to do with the health cap. I'll save that question for a rainy day. Meanwhile, let's go down and say hello to lizard boys. Um, I'm literally going to sprint around them and just uh, get the loot. <laughs> um, oh, shit. I'm going past the lizard boys. Oh shit, I thought I was going to be going down and entering lizard lizard room. Hello. How is that fair? The, how in the name of all that is holy is that possibly fair? It happened earlier as well. I'm actively striking him and staggering him. And then he parries me. That is just not cool, sir. Talk about a hard game. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Fucking another locked door. Um, fuck it. Boss. Death. Oh, oh. Boss. <laughs> Tree? Giant? He sounds like the gingerbread man from Shrek. He's got swords in his back and stuff. Oh god. This is not a friendly tree. Oh god. He's fast. He's got some he's got some serious fucking speed. Well, he's slow as shit. He's nice and slow. He's nice and slow. Fucking hell! Right, what's the deal? Oh, it's a small area, is this? Fucking hell! Oh, he's got a good swipe. 
I've got this. Big old tree. So he's the last giant. So I was right. There is a last giant, which is kind of upsetting for the giants. Jesus Christ. I kind of want to stick behind him. I don't want to be right in front of him. Ooh, he's got some reach on him when he wants to have some reach. Oh, that's interesting. If I'm actually directly behind him, the swipes struggle to reach me. Interesting. You see what I mean? If I'm just directly behind him. Just keep chopping his feet. Keep chopping the feet. Chop, chop, chop. Choppy, choppy. Choppy, choppy makes the giant stoppy, stoppy. If you get what I'm saying. I can chop for days, motherfucker. Oh, shit. Well, let's back off. Right, motherfucker's got a sword. Phase two. Stamina. Let's get stamina. Let's get behind him again. Okay. Behind him is definitely good. Ow, you little bastard! I'm using all my temporary shit. Can I get between his legs? Let's get some distance. Oh, I don't like the fact he's got no face. Back off. You're not hitting me today. I want to get behind you, motherfucker. Even see, dude, camera, the fuck, man. Get around behind it, behind it, behind it, man. <sighs> fuck you, last giant first attempt, motherfucker. First attempt, motherfucker. Yes. First attempt, motherfucker! Yes! All the shit I've been facing today! All the trials and lack of tribulations! All the fucking deaths! All the firebombs and nuke explosions and crow motherfuckers killing my ass! First attempt, you big tree-looking giant motherfucker! You were the last of your kind, and now there ain't no more of your kind. Fuck you. Your corpse isn't even left behind. I deleted that guy from the game files. Fuck you. You stompy bitch. Oh. Oh, good Jesus. Oh, oh thank God. You know, I was terrified legitimately that would have that I would have had possibly the first Dark Souls episode of any of the Dark Souls yet to basically make no progress in an entire three hour plus episode I haven't that hasn't happened yet where I've basically struggled and not done anything for three hours every episode I've always accomplished something whether it was by brute force or whatever and I was terrified this was going to break the mold and be the first time I kind of just struggled for three hours, accomplished nothing, and then ended an episode. First attempt, motherfucker. That might be the first attempt. Uh, 
Not counting Elden Ring. That was my first FromSoft game I ever played. I did one shot a couple of the final bosses of that game once I became so overpowered. In Dark Souls 1, did I one shot any bosses? I two shot several bosses, mostly because of my own stupidity, like the Iron Giant or whatever it was. I could have killed if I wanted to, but I died. That might be the first Dark Souls boss I've killed in one. Um, I got 10,000 souls. I, I wonder if that was one of your four big guys. That's a lot of souls, and that I got a soul of the tree giant, which we will read back in Medulla. That'll be the first thing I read, so don't worry. I will be reading it. Um, but is there a fire, or, like, what's the deal? Do I have to home bone my way out? Oh, oh my god. Oh, progress. Oh, there's a th uh, God help me. It's a good thing I have some life gems. Best addition of an item to any game yet. It's like a, a supplementary item. In fact, let's just let's just get to full in case something bad happens. It's a supplement supplementary item to your Estus flasks, and I very much appreciate it. Really? Like, come on. Have I not earned a uh I must be a, a fast, like shortcut back up to safety, I guess, once we get down to Lizard Room. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what I think? I'm over two and a half hours. How about we do the Medulla shit now? We've got quite a bunch of... Quite a number of things I want to do back in Medulla. Or lots of shit to read. Um, a couple of things to unlock. Upgrading to be done. So it might take me a good half hour to do all that. So I'm tempted to go back now. And we'll finish this area next time. I, uh, I guess. Still plenty of, ob obviously, plenty of shit to do here. There was a, a couple of ways, I think, that I didn't even go back up there. Not to mention out here, I can go down the planks and down into that whole area out there. So there's plenty of shit I haven't done in this area. D did I just kill the boss of this entire area before completing half the area? Let's go back. I just need to see the, s the sanctuary of Medulla. I need to be done with this fucking place, <laughs> just for now at least. I'm gonna spend those 10,000 souls wisely. I'm gonna update my flaskage with a shard. Is that a shard you found? It is. Here, let me see it. I looted it before I got flattened by a big armored fuck. To see light. To see hope. However faint it might be. I would have welcomed that ten minutes ago. But since killing that big fucker first attempt, I feel a bit of hope already. There you go. Yes, that should be three flasks. Um, and I think that's just how the flasks work in this game, isn't it? They, you, you don't upgrade how much they heal, just how many you have. Any new things to say? Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation, it happens to them all. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. I might join his covenant, I'm not sure. Although he does offer sound, it, perhaps he is a fool. That tiny thing. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She's, she said all this before. That's the cat. Provided you find your own. Yeah, okay, that's the cat. Right, well, um... I'm not going to not level up, but I want to check the shop. Check the blacksmith, because I might need to buy some upgrade materials. So, before I commit to leveling up with all these souls. I'm a blacksmith. Right, Bring yeah. That key. I've got it. Here you go, here you go. There you go. Happy? Ah, yes. Very good. He sounds like Gimli. Uh, now I can get to work. But first, let me set up. We dwarves are natural sprinters. Very deadly over short distances. I'm wasted on cross-country. Ah, yes. Very good. Very good. 
Salted pork. Okay. Let me set up. Right, do I have to... Right, I think we're gonna leave the area. Alright, before I loot his shit, I'm tempted to reset. I don't wanna, like, steal his stuff. I'll open that only if it's safe to do so. Oh! Um... Millennia is back. Is this gonna... Rejig? Oh, do I have to reload the area? Oh no, that's it. Okay, we're starting to build a town here. We've got a working blacksmith. I've got a, another merchant come to set up shop. I've got a friendly cat that likes my scent. I like this. It's like an upgraded fire, firelink shrine. That never really did feel like a little town, but this is feeling like a town. You, stand back. This is dangerous work. The name's Lenigrast. Just a simple blacksmith. Okay. And you are... Oh. Uh, ah. Uh, another useless traveller. I got your key, didn't I? A man ought to labour with his feet planted firmly in the earth. They're on the earth. Roam around like you flirtatious vagabonds. <laughs> well, aren't you a dick? What does it matter? <laughs> Go on, show me what you've got. I wonder if you can get, like, upgrade equipment. things. Let me have a look, but do it quick. I want more durability for my good weapons, like, more than anything else. I wonder if upgrading works the same, so you can get, like, a fire ember and a regular ember and, you know... What's it got for sale? Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, hell yes. You know what I was saying about going adaptability first? Well, I might I might stick to that, but put a bunch of points into, like, dex and strength just so I can use most of the weapons. Because I can't even use, like, a basic halberd. So, clearly... Broadsword, longsword, falchion, estoc. Ooh, estoc, that's a thrusting sword as well. Battle axe, mace, spear. Mmm. <coughs> and you know, if I if I bought enough arrows, I could just kill those lizards in the pit easily. Obviously, that's a cheap thing to do, but you know. I'm getting confused with the numbers here. Is that me? Is that does it cost twenty five for one and fifty for fifty? Hmm. We'll see. I'll, I'll come back to it. But let's just have a quick look at repair and shit. Ah, you can repair fully broken ones if you've accidentally let them get to breaking stage. Cool. Okay. What about reinforce? Ooh. I mean, I know it's a very basic bitch of me, but the, the sword I'm using seems pretty good. I wonder if a halberd is just as good. That's that's crazy high requirements for a basic halberd. I could use that on day one in the first game. So, I've got two shards and it's one to start with. I see. Okay. I'm guessing you can't sell stuff then. Okay, I might take a, a, I'll read some descriptions and stuff now, but I'll, I might make a decision on what weapons to use a bit later. You don't need to be so rude. Like, I'm going to steal your stuff because you're so rude to me. Oh, there you go. Alright, so I keep my sanity whilst reading descriptions. I'm going to turn my music down by one notch. Okay, here we go. The Great Reading of 2023. Which is the year I'm recording this, if you're watching this in the distant future. Okay. Um, let's start with important shit like the soul I got. Soul of the Last Giant. Acquire numerous souls. Or perhaps dot 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 make a last giant weapon? Soul of the Surviving Giant. Again, by the way, I'm feeling evil. I just killed the last giant. 
Okay, soul of the surviving giant who was bound below the forest of the giants. The lord of the giants who had brought rack and ruin to the entire kingdom. Oh, well fuck him then. Was said to have been felled by an unknown warrior. His beaten and broken remains were then dragged beneath the stronghold where he was sealed away. Use the special soul of the last giant to acquire numerous souls or to create something of mighty worth. Understood. I'll save that for a rainy day. Have I got anything else? Weird shit. Aromatic ooze. Magic to right hand weapon. A mysterious sticky substance that radiates a pale white light. So that's magic just like... Golden pine is lightning, okay. Magic damage for a short time. Oh, so it's not like until you die. Same with, same with the gold pine resin. I'm sure that was until you died in the first game. Particularly effective against heavily armored foes or creatures with sorrow. So armor. Magic is good for armor. Okay. What else have we got? I've already read that contraption. Anything else that's new? Oh, repair powder. Right, I'm guessing that will fix a broken, fully broken thing. I might try reversing that hollowing to end the episode out, just to see if you can. It wouldn't let me at that other fire in the tower, for some reason. Right, some new weapons, let's read. Um, hang on, new stuff. That's a standard issue for Dranglik foot soldiers. Now here's the new shit, Mail Breaker. A slightly stubby thrusting sword, has a sharp sturdy blade designed for thrusting. Mail Breaker has limited reach, but a powerful critical attack. The S-Stock felt really good um, in DS1. I just never used it because I had better shit. But the S-Stock might be longer range than this. Effective against foes donning thick armor. Right, so thrust is good against armored foes. Wasn't it the opposite in the first game? I'm sure I remember thinking that thrusting would be good against armored foes, and then it turned out that strike, strangely, was good against the armored foes, not thrusting. But hey. Hmm. Effect shield piercing strong attack. Oh, right. You can pierce through shields. Okay. Winged spear. A spear with winged lugs. Longer than standard spears. Allowing attacks from further away. That sounds like the demon spear. Long range. Honestly, do you guys remember how I loved the pokey pokey of like the halberd and the spears in the first game? because of how fast the spams were and it had a longer range. You could just poke for days. That might go double in this game with, with how the mobs have been treating me so far. Just fucking me up constantly. Poking from the longest range possible might be exactly what I need to do. Oh, now, but here we go. Halberds, combination of axes and spears. Yep. Can be used in spear-like thrust attacks, so it's the same. It's Pokey Boy. Or in acts like sweeping attacks, yeah, power attacks. That's that was what was so good against. Well, that that's what was so good in the first game. You had pokey pokey, or you could AOE. I might end up doing the exact fucking same if I can get enough points to spend in strength and dex. Seriously, never before have I needed a halberd more. The halberd challenges a warrior's skills, but can be very effective when its two functions are applied properly. You better believe that is on my radar. That that could well be a make or break situation for my just personal skill in this game. Because parrying has, has proven to be kind of like odd in this game compared to the first. I'm not liking the parrying. Evade, evasion is weird. They can attack through my defense because I haven't got 100% durability, um, 100% damage reduction shield yet. That might not even be a thing in this game. So I'm, I'm feeling weird about the combat. It'll be interesting now if I, ca if I can see a, uh, a da 100% damage reduction shield. That'll. That's a, that'll be a game fucking changer. No, 
No, 75, 85, 90. So far, 90 is the best I've got. You know, it's funny. That large leather one is better in every single way. Except... Stability. Ah, oh, That's a problem. That's how much stamina you lose when you get hit. Mmm. Hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, 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 right, okay. Well, let's read the descriptions of my long range shit. Short bow, small bow, arrows. Equip up to two types of arrows to give yourself immediate options. Right, okay, you can switch them. I'm guessing with the up key. Uh, all right. Same with that. Unlike bows, a crossbow can be held in one hand. Surely it doesn't do less damage. I wonder if it's like more accurate or something with two hands. Oh, dude, a shield. Can you imagine a shield and a crossbow build? Let's read the descriptions of these shields. Blue wooden shield. Wooden shield used from ancient times. Inferior to metal shields in terms of stability and physical damage reduction, but easy to use and weighing so little it hardly requires any strength to bear. One weight. Oh my god, that's pathetic. Large leather shield, a leathered covered shield preferred by hunters. Inferior to metal shields in terms of stability and physical damage, but easy to use. In Again, same, same. Iron Palmer, that's the one we start with. Buckler. Small. Right, so those are all regular shields. These two are small, small shields. Small shields are very light and easy to use. That's not, that's heavier than the light regular shields. Or that one. The center of a buckler is convex. That means bowed outwards. Designed to brush attacks aside, making parrying easier. Mm. But it's only got a 75% reduction, so if you do take a hit, you're taking more damage. I think I prefer my my stick the jab and get long range like thing. Evasion over parrying. Um, I did get a few armors, but I think they were mostly, sh like, yeah, hollowed shit. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah, okay. Um, any other items? That's most of my weapons. I thought I had more stuff to read, honestly. Mm-hmm. Now, I do, like I said, I wouldn't mind having, uh... Buying that ring that gives you health when you kill a fool. <laughs> From the cat lady. But at the same time, I need to level up. I need strength and dex at least to use some of these weapons, you know what I'm saying? Um, So the ring might have to wait. You know, if I just learn to dodge and roll a little bit better, I don't need to heal from every kill. So that ring can wait. What can't wait is leveling up. At least I'm going to spend at least half these souls on leveling up. Seek, seek the lest this land. Level up. Here we go now. In terms of like iframes and stuff, I get that the adaptability and the agility is very important. But at least with slow big fools like that giant, I found it was easy enough if I just dodged the second the, the attack was coming at me, if you see what I'm saying. Not too hard to time. Um, so for now, I'm okay. I really want to get my strength and dex to a point where I can equip. Um, maybe not the howl because that's quite, that's quite costly in terms of requirement. But some of the basic stuff, like the S stock or something. Let's make a decision because I don't want to stick with a basic bullshit short sword. It's time to take a named weapon like a winged spear or a halibut, so. I've got a choice of... Fuck the mail breakers, a choice of... Uh... Estoc? Was the blacksmith selling the Estoc? Sorry, hang on. You oh, 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 oh! Oh, I think I nearly accidentally bought a sword then. Fucking hell, calm down. 
Right, long song. Um, there's the S Doc, right? Let's read a couple of descriptions. The rapier, both of these. S Doc, a large thrusting sword with a blade. The sturdy, slender, long blade is designed to pierce the armor of enemies, and its strong attack can even inflict damage upon foes hiding behind shields. I wonder if the thrust of the halberd and the spear has the same effect. Probably not. Um, though primarily a thrusting sword, its blade can also be used to slash your enemy. Effect, shield piercing. Okay, rapier. A standard thrusting sword with a blade. Is that... Yeah, that right, with a blade means slash. This doesn't have slash. Um, yeah, it's under, it's under the black box, but that's thrust and slash. That's just thrust. Thrusting swords are light swords with fine tips. Da -da 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 -da. Effective for parrying. Okay. Dude, I, I can imagine parrying and, like, one-handing a rapier would be very fun. You could just pretend you're one of the three musketeers, basically, and, like, actually parry like you do in fencing. That'd be kind of cool. Um, but fuck that. Spear, I prefer to use a halberd over a spear any day. Mace, I have never been one for maces, I'll be honest with you. But I'll read it. The mace is the archetypal blunt weapon. The ability to break the guard of a shield. Keep the proper distance, and this can be very effective. Battle axe. Axes generally deal more damage than swords, but each swing leaves its wielder vulnerable. One is tempted to swing axes with wild abandon, but in fact they're effectively <laughs> oh, precise timing. Okay, so you've got to be careful, but so difficult to use, hard to master. No, that's not right. Um, no, that's completely that sentiment. I was going to say easy to use, hard to master, but that that sentiment is all wrong hard to use, but when you master it, it's very ultra-effective. I get it. Falchion. Each slash of curved sword, less damage than a straight sword, but can deal a series of hits in flowing succession. The curved sword moveset was very flourishy and cool in the first game. Um, the sharp blade is effective at causing bleeding, but is soon dull to write... Okay, fuck the durability, okay. Cool. You can buy shards from him. Quite expensive, but I, I appreciate it. Drat. <laughs> You're worse oh. than my reckless daughter. Is your daughter a blacksmith? Somewhere. You spend your whole life in transit, you hear? You'll need souls to repair. I know only of smithing. But souls have many other uses as well. Oh. Don't waste your souls on useless trinkets. Think before you spend. Thanks for the advice. I wonder if there's only one blacksmith in this game. This guy. Or if I can find his daughter somewhere and she upgrades... You know, fire weapons or something. ...with rare ore stone. But such ore stone won't come easily. Easily. I think I recognize this guy's voice. Her stones. But she's always out prancing about. Oh. Now, there's a time for prancing levels, about. But you can't wander the world forever. I wonder if that means his daughter sells a bunch of unique you stones or something. Someone waiting back home? Nope, I got no one. Drat. Don't spend Okay, your right. Life people these days. Okay, officially. I, th I think I might just have to. Can I equip the halberd? Just to see what the moveset is, even if I can't wield it effectively. Or is it going to be, like, really slow in my hands? Um, yeah, I don't have the dex requirements. It's not just strength, so it's still ineffective. Right, two hand is, uh, is a slam light attack. Oh! Um, running attack. Bag on, no, no, that didn't work. Um, ah, right, I don't have the strength. I can't sprint. Okay. Hang on. I can when it's one-handed. Oh, there you go, okay. Um, so one-handed. Oh, right, okay. One-handed is a... 
light attack is both they're both down and strong attack but two-handed is what does the area and a light yeah okay what about running with both one-handed running attack okay that's a sweep two-handed running attack is that a slam uh let's do that again is that a running attack Oh, fuck, that's a great... That's like a triple hit running attack. Fucking hell. What's it feel like having a shield on at the same time? As, like, backup. Even if I can't wield it effectively. I don't know what the difference is. Maybe I'm just doing, like, no damage. Uh, what if that's way faster? Ooh, that's a slow shield breaker. Jumping attack. Nice stab. What about two-handed ring attack? Uh, jumping attack. Nope, wrong button. You know, it's really hard to press in this game. There. Okay. Now, is a power attack like a full stamina bar? Can I just, like, keep a shield here, though, and then just go to... Oh, no! Right! Sorry, it's not Pokey Pokey. I thought it would be Pokey Pokey. It's not. It's a slam. One-handed or two-handed, it doesn't matter. It's a slam. It's a very nice... W I, I welcome that slam, because it's nice and accurate for a, a mob in front of me. But didn't it say it had the Pokey Pokey? You do the pokey pokey and you turn around, and that's what it's all about. Can can be used in spear like thrust attacks. Well, either way, I, it's my best weapon by far so far. It's got more utility than the the axe that he sells. Uh, what if what if I hold shield? <gasps> It's like the S-Doc. I can stay behind the shield. Oh, ho, 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 ho. How much stamina is that? Oof. A lot. Okay. Okay. What's the damage of this? Because this, this will dictate if this is the weapon I, I go for. F fucking hell. 175... Okay, great durability as well. Okay. Just like DS1, I've got to go for the halberd. So what stats do I need? I need 20 strength and 14 dex for one-handed at the very least. Um, I can't do the maths for, for strength when I'm two-handing it. 20 and 14. I'm not that far away from that. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls, seek the king, lest this- I think I would definitely put points in dex first, just so I can try and dual wield it. So I don't require that much strength right off the bat. But my dex is way fucking... Um, sorry. This is how bad my memory is. Um, what the fuck <laughs> is it? <laughs> um, for, oh, nothing! 14 dex. Okay, I can easily get the dex right now. Bearer of the seek, seek the lest this. Le and that will let me. I think I needed 12 dex for a couple of things, and I'm on 11, so I can probably use a few different weapons after doing this. Dex. 14. It's not even a question. So. Okay. Well, I'm not going to lie to you. I want the halberd. It's my chosen shit for now, so I do want the 20 strength. Um, Can I dual wield it, though? Yes, I can. Right. Okay, so I don't absolutely need the strength to use it properly. I just can't use a shield. Ah. You, you can't jab after blocking without a shield, basically. I see. Uh, I mean, I've still got some fantastic attacks with it, even if I can't thrust. Um, 
I've got I've got the jumping thrust. I bet that's a fucking high damage. In fact, should I try thrusting a pig? The the downwards vertical slash is great for the pigs. Have you noticed? Because they're tiny and but they're in front of me. Oh, these pigs ain't shit. Ow! Oh, 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 ow! Little bastards. Let's try some light attacks. Oh, get <laughs> Oh, hang on. Ooh, the follow-up isn't directly down. It's a slash. Got to be careful. <sighs> Let's try a power attack. Yeah, it's swimming. Right, it's swinging over the head of the pig. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hang on, come here. Okay, let's just heal. These pigs are like my practice dummies. I've killed them twice before already. Great for practicing, like, uh... Different weapon attacks and so on. Yeah, that slash attack is going over their heads, that's not good. Okay. I wonder if they drop some rare loot or something. Okay, well that worked fucking wonders. Talk about high damage. And decent durability. And I can upgrade this motherfucker. It's head and shoulders above every shield and weapon combo I can possibly have up until this point. I might get some awesome shit soon that's way better than this. You would get... But do you see what I'm saying? It's just head and shoulders above my basic sword shit, so... Reinforcement. It only costs one, I've got two. Uh, the damage goes up- FUCKING HELL! 175 to 192, that's a bit of a boost, isn't it? Fuck yes. I've got the souls. Um, I need... I know, I know I need to buy some more stats and I've got a bunch of other shit I can buy, but... I can buy another shard for only 800. Measly 800. This is probably a waste of souls. I can just kill some more pigs to get some souls. Uh, hang on, is that... Am I getting 10 for 800 or has he only got a maximum of 10? Oh no, he's only got a maximum of eight. Um. Okay. Right, I know I've got one. Oh, okay. No, it does have ten. Okay. Fine. There you go, up to two ten. That's that's a boost of like forty five or some shit. That's not bad. Thirty five. Nice. Level 2 halberd will last me. I bet I can sh- I bet. The simple fact that I've got three flasks instead of two, and the fact that I've got a significantly stronger weapon, I bet I can shit all over most of those, um, enemies now. Uh. So, okay. Bearer of the- Seek- Seek the- Lest this- so what's the deal with my half health bar? The you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, okay. stay strong, even when you... Well, I mean, shall I just level up? I don't think I need to buy anything from the shops just yet. I think we might save that for next episode. Um, I mean, can I get to 20 strength? Oh, no, I can't. Right, okay. I'm happy two-handing it, I'll just try and keep a distance as best as I can, rather than rely on a shield. Um, I might even learn next time that I, uh... Yeah, I'm over three hours. Next time. I might learn next time that actually, you know what, I prefer not having a shield and, and rolling away and keeping a distance and all that over shield combat, so I'm not gonna bother with strength right now. What's the scaling like with the Heldend? Um, oh, C and C, so it's kind of either or, really. Spears and fast shit seems to be dex, because that's B and E. Um, swords are sort of a mixture. 
or, or some of them do favor strength, but that's dex. Dex equal strength. Some basic swords are just strength, really. Um, yeah. Ranged weapons seem to be dex. My halberd is mixed. Spears are dex. In the first game, I went hardcore into strength to begin with, and then in the late stages of the game, I strongly regretted that. And by the end of the game, I had an exactly even strength and dex stat. I prefer hybrid builds. But in this game, I'm tempted to prioritize dex. Can I get a little more info on the real difference? So strength boosts attack. I don't really know what that means. We know that dual wielding increases strength, but it doesn't increase dex. So that accounts for a lot of the strength requirements if I want a dual, um, dual hand oh, oh, one weapon, if you see what I mean. I'm saying dual wield, I mean hold it in two hands. Um, right, they, they both boost attack, okay. So dexterity is for faster and finesse weapons, or like a mix. Strength is for heavy shit. Well, I do like the idea of heavy great swords. I do, I'll admit that. But at the same time, I found myself gravitating towards dex in the first game. I might try and stick to just whatever weapon feels good in the moment, you know? If I come across a really heavy weapon like a sword I want to use in the future, I can just pile into strength after the fact, rather than start putting points in strength now. So I'm going to leave strength as it is. Bearer of the curse, seek, seek the lest. The so how about we um, put a couple of levels into adaptability, or maybe raise? You know what? Literally stick 50/50. I might raise dex to match my strength, and then do that. My health and stamina seem okay-ish for now. The fact you get some health with any stat leveling up is is a help, and like that puts me off putting points in vigor, or a lot of points in vigor. Um, stamina has been okay so far, as long as I watch the stamina bar and I back off from the enemies a bit. Um, equip load. I've been fast rolling like a motherfucker. Attunement. Mm. Yeah, let's do that. Cool. Uh, right, that's take. Hang on, that's uh, taking my agility up to ninety and ninety-one. Okay, very cool. And what's that upping my damage to? Just a just a little tiny boost. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you for your blessing, kind maiden. Okay, anything new? For when the undead dies. No, not all okay. Should just repeat itself. Anything new to say since you're here? Oh, come on. It's on the cheap for you. Bullshit. I bet it's not. <laughs> if everything's cheaper now, I'm going to cry. No, it's the same. Okay. Okay, well, I'm going to talk to everyone, see, Holy times, these are. see if anyone's got anything else new, and then we'll try going in that mansion, I assume. I, I need to end the episode, but more more I'm progress see you safe. is better. T take a look at my words. I certainly shall. I'll definitely want to buy the remaining two red pieces of armor at some point. Just to complete the set. Yeah, this armor set that I that I bought, this Falconer set, it seems to be a nice medium, like not too heavy, but decent poise and protection. It's like right uh, middle ground, perfect balance. Cause you don't want to be too heavy, but you want some protection, and it's pretty fucking good. I don't have the gloves, and I don't have the helm, though, so I need two thousand and fifty, nineteen fifty. <laughs> Um, in fact, for business. in fact, do I not have some sold items? I do. Hell yeah. Let's not use that accidentally. Oh, plenty. Oh, nice. 
I really should put on like the amber leaf and the stamina leaf on the bar and actually use them because there are so many items I didn't use in Elden Ring and Dark Souls 1 and I regretted it because they're just sitting there. They could really help me out and then I don't bother using them. Forget to buy I did. I want to complete the set, sir, and hopefully further our relationship and then you can sell me more stuff. So, um, can I see what I've got? Like equipped. No. I know I've got the chest and the legs, I think. So let's buy the helm. You can buy multiple. Helm and gloves. Yes. Worth it. Thanks very much. Do come again. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the shield off. I mean, it's I, I literally can't use the halberd with it right now. I'd kind of like to just learn shieldless combat next time, so let's take it off. And put on the red shit. Yes. I kind of wish there was a set bonus in this game. I lost a couple of bits, but that's fine. You know, that's fine. Oh, look at the little tail on my head. Oh, hell yes, right, okay. This might have to be my thumbnail <laughs> for episode two. Hmm. Look at the little head tail. <laughs> yes. Head tail. Uh, now, can I see the, the sword shit? Like the castle sword shit. Um, from here somewhere. It might have been inland around the cliff, you know, so I can't see it from here. It must have been. Or I don't know. There was a couple of round turrets and there's a statue with a sword there. That might have been the very one. Hmm. Yes. Hmm. Where's the sun? I like to think when people see my thumbnail with me, with my head tail and my halberd specifically, people will know shit is about to get real. <laughs> Let's not walk off the edge like a complete fuckwit. Oh my god. Um, can you take the hood off? This is just one of those moments. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Bear with me. Taking the camera off even. We're going we're going the full fucking hog. Let's get multiple angle. Oh, that looks triumphant, doesn't it? Looking into the distance. Oh, fucking hell. Talk about a fucking work of art. Let's, uh, can I get a more? Yeah, there you go. I want to get an angle of him looking pensive towards the sun, you know? You know what? Let's just go full, full, <laughs> fucking every angle you can imagine. Now. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Right, there we go, and... I can totally see me hitting a button and just jumping off the edge. Before we end the episode, I'll talk to Kat, see if she's got anything new to say or whatever, and then I'll open that door. Oh, we made some good progress. It was like two and a half hours of pure pain Followed by 30 minutes of a shitload of progress. <laughs> Kill a major boss. Upgrade some new, nice new shiny weapons. Wield those weapons. And level up a shitload of times. Hello! What's up? You have that glint in your eyes. And the scent of one with quite the catalogue of sins. Sins. Oh, don't feel bad. I'm sure... Don't you talk about my mother. Shalqua, where's your mother? Any items? So I wonder if she she sells more, just like all the other merchants. If I were to buy some rings and shit, I tell you that re right. Okay, I think the very first thing I'm going to save for next time is that ring, even if that's a small amount of health. <laughs>
Nothing suited you, I presume? Not yet. Even if it's not a, you know, not much health per kill or whatever. House key, there we go. Can I see the dude's map? It'll still be worth it. Because I've been going through those life gems like there's no tomorrow. And I might want to start saving those for boss fights. Because it saved my ass against the giant. Woo! Faris's locks. I bought one of those for 4,000! If you tell me I only need one in this game, I demand a refund. From that old wench. I've got dark. I want, I'm hoping there are multiple contraptions. Seriously. That's just upsetting. Let's destroy all this guy's life work. <laughs> I forgot to keep clicking on the walls as well. I can hear something shooting or something happening here. That's a big old book right there. Now, I did say don't keep going because there's some serious shit. You know what I mean? Like, he, ma he made it sound terrifying, so I don't want to... I don't want to start some shit right at the end of the episode. I do want to try burning the effigy and see if I can get my health back. You know, it's probably still... Oh, it's those pigs I could hear. It's not as good as a shield, but it's probably worth blocking like this, just in case there's some surprise around the corner. <laughs> um, that's not a fireplace. It looked like one, but it's not. Yeah. Oh, this, this, what is this? This does not look normal. Illusory wall? This looks like some sort of seance room or some creepy shit, I don't know. Oh god, why, why am I committing to some... Next time... Well, no, next time we'll be finishing the previous area, for fuck's sake. Um, and that's a promise. Next time, I will fight and kill the armoured fuck. I bet, ironically, the halberd is bad against him because he's armoured or something like that. But still, next time I'm committing to that big armoured fuck, and then there was definitely some other items, lizard shit. So, three torches. Damn. I might want to start lighting some sconces. Yeah, so... Next episode, we shall be going back down to the forest of the fuckheads and attempting to complete that whole area. I'm not sure if the big giant I killed was the final boss of that zone and I just missed a whole bunch of shit. Or if it was kind of like a medium, intermediate boss. I can't really tell, you know, either way. Okay. So I saw a skeleton and darkness. That's clearly the catacombs of this game. Wee! Right, pigs can fuck off. Uh, can I rest at the fire? Now, assuming we, in a timely fashion, finish that area, I don't know where to go next. We could go back to Scottish Man, who, by the way, thanks for telling me that is actually a real Scottish a voice actor. So there's me making fun. <laughs> it's a real Scotsman. I could go up there, commit to that next, next zone I choose to go to. Either there, up there, or down into Shadowland. But that might be the last thing I do. Hello, piggy. Fuck off. Oh, no! Don't make me roast you and eat your ham. Where, where are your friends? Oh, he's higher than me. Can I hit him? Oh, I can. Oh, get slapped. 
Okay. Right. Can we burn that? Cannot burn now. Uh, by the way, I should point out, you, you might have noticed all my messages and shit have, have gone. People, th th thank you for once again giving me another tip, and that is to go offline on Steam. Like, like appear offline or whatever the fuck. Um, uh, and then it, it disconnects me officially. I wonder if I've got to be online to use that. Well, I am on half health, and I do not know how to fix that. Um, I mean, using an Estus flask. Can I use an effigy here and now, or do I have to burn it? Okay, I've used it. Okay. Oh, uh, there might be another round of screenshots incoming. <laughs> oh! Oh, 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 oh. Ah, yes. <gasps> Health! Oh my god. Okay, so I was right. Going human allows full health. So have I got to go human then? To regain full health bar? I'm definitely going to be appearing offline then. Because... I assume, in, in the, like in the first game, going human is what allows you to be invaded in the first place. Um, I'm glad I've got my health back, and now I look like a sexy motherfucker. I'll take the screenshots after I'm finished. Um, don't want to subject you all to two rounds of uh, picture taken. But yeah, that's a weird system. And why is that even an option here to burn? If I can use it anywhere. It is the same item. Because I was on five here, now it's four. I can't burn. Okay, that's strange. Clearly using it out and about and then burning it is two different things. Hmm. Oh, I've got the arrows equipped on my back. Uh... Does it visually get rid of them? Oh no, you keep the quiver. Oh, is that because I've got that there? Oh no, there you go. Okay, you can physically get rid of the quiver. That's interesting. Hmm. Okay. Well, now I, I couldn't look more beautiful. But thanks for joining me for this episode. We, uh, yeah, we made some nice progress. I can only apologize. If, you, if you're still here and watching this, you're a trooper. Thanks for sticking through the, uh, the more challenging, difficult moments. Thanks for watching this whole episode. Oh, fuck me. God, it's it's 5 p.m. and I'm yawning. <laughs> but yeah, hope you enjoyed the episode. Whew. Like this video if you liked it, like this video if you didn't like it, and subscribe for similar content. All my social media links are in the description. And I have a Patreon if you want to go above and beyond to support my content. That's the best way to do so. I'll catch you guys in episode 3 where hopefully we stick it to the big armoured crow carrying fool. We complete the Forest of the Fallen Fuckwits area and then we choose a second place to, uh, to begin next time. I'll catch you guys then. Liquid Blitz, out. <laughs>